Ooh. Uh, wardrobe here. Hi, everyone. It's Wardrobe. Oh, hold on. And many Bye. Hi. Man, these motherfuckers don't even want me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, great. Hi. Thanks. Keep Hi, it everybody. clean there, bro. Jeez. Hello, everybody. I would like to start out or point out that when I started saying that word, I wasn't lying. Yes. We uh, are YouTube overlords. We apologize and supplicate for our sins. Okay. <laughs> At least mine was an accident. Brian's just being vindictive with his ice cream dish. Now, no, this is an interesting new little... Sorry, everybody. I just saw this thing in... Um, I just saw this thing in uh, StreamYard, and when I pull up like like mini warm-ups thing where I can remove them from the stream, solo layout, mute, edit mic settings. I can also put I'm clueless. Oh, is that what you called yourself? Yeah, I put that on there. No, that's funny. Okay, never mind. All right, everybody. We uh, got wardrobe here. That's me. Uh, that's me. I'm over here. And we got uh, uh, Jeff from Hex to Hex. That's him over there. I wonder if we should label that. Anyway, um, we're both playing Ardents too. Uh, and... Uh, and McMurray, are you going to be playing our dance too? <clears throat> Ouch. Dang, sick burn. Anyway, McMurray's waiting for his, and Mini Warman didn't order because he's too scared. So, what? All right, we're going to, uh, you know, I don't know how we're going to do this here. So, with these other guys on here. <laughs> Well, I'm going to focus on so Jeff and I. So Jeff is playing the 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 tip of the spear scenario. Um, Jeff, why don't you get seven point six, right? Yep, and I'm playing uh, seven point four. Goose egg. We've been, and that's the goose egg, uh, which is from the Battalion Combat Series BCS game, the last Blitzkrieg. I played a little few activations in that. Hey Jeff, why don't you real quick just point out on your map like what you're trying to do, and I think we'll probably focus on my map for a while, and then we'll go back to Jeff's. All right, so. I need to take. Give me a give me a biggie screen for a second. Eric, thank you. So I need to take. You can't see all the map, but the Germans start out with two victory locations already taken. They need to take four more. They have taken one right over here on this side of the map where my mousey mousey is, and they need to grab three more. You know, by the end of the game turn, they need to occupy the two they started with plus four more. So we're pushed on all fronts right now, trying to get through some of these objectives. Thank you. Beautiful. So you, you know, know you know what? I'm just going to stand you for a minute, Jeff, while you're playing. You can talk talk while you're going. And I, well, I'll tell you what. We can do this. I I, I skipped the turn. I skipped the phase here, so I'm going to backtrack, and I'm going to do my barrage for the U.S. The first one. Since I didn't do that, y'all can see how that happens. So here's what I'm going to do. You have a spotter range of two hexes. There is no line of sight rule. Doesn't get blocked by anything. But you have to maintain divisional integrity. So the spotter for an artillery unit has to be from the same division unless it's an independent or a core asset. So over here, we've got this independent unit. And we're going to, I'll tell you, let's start. We'll start with this 7th Armored Division artillery sitting back here. And we've got a 7th Armored unit here who, like I said, I should have done this before I moved the Germans. But he's going to try to barrage this guy here to bust him up some. So we're going to roll it. We're going to look at our terrain chart. He is in the forest, and even though he's on a road, he's in the forest. So you got to roll a four for a half, or a five to six for a full. So we're going to roll, and we roll a three. We got nothing, but we don't want him to attack us. So we're going to shoot with the independent one over here. You can shoot multiple artillery into a hex. You're shooting at the hex, not at the units. Same thing again, four or five or six. We rolled a one again. So that's an epic failure over here on this flank. Now, 3rd Armored Division is going to shoot at this German stack because we don't want them to hurt us. They are also in stupid terrain. They're in slope, so they need a 4 or 5 for a half or a 6 for a full. They rolled a 6. Boom, boom, shaboom. You've been rolling a lot of 6s for a barrage. I did. So now that unit is going to be quartered or cut in half for his attack. I could actually fire another barrage in there again and quarter him. So, all right, so uh, 75th Infantry Division doesn't have any units in the front line, I don't think. Yes, they do right here. So they're going to shoot one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to try to put another one in that hex. And they got another six. So now this hex now has two barrages in it. 
Wow, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah. So that means that those units are going to be quartered, which there's only two strength points in there. So I guess they're going to be at a half. And you know how MMP goes, the point fives work. Yeah, baby. Love that rounding. Love yep. that Dean Essig rounding. Uh, so let's go over here and let's fire the second Panzer units. Wait a minute. Do I have somebody that can do that? I do. Divisional Integrity, 84th Infantry Division. Let's fire this guy oh. here. I think he's in the up. Uh, he's in the forest. No, he's in the woods. Four or five or six. And we rolled a three. Nothing. Beep. That was me cussing. All right. Let's fire this independent unit over here at these Ninth Panzer guys. They're also in the woods. Same thing. Four or five or six. We rolled a three. Beep. I cussed again. And then we got second armor here. Can they reach them? One, two, three, four. They can. Let's fire them over there, too. And we rolled a five. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we got that. Yes, Charles. I'm having, I'm, I'm loving the changes in the system, in the system. There are some little weird things in the rules that need to be fixed and stuff. And they're only grammatical errors and little placement errors. I feel like it's not, they're, they're overcomable. They're not a big deal. I just was kind of pointing them out and people have right. been freaking out. All right, now air, I have why, three air points. Why is Jeff not staying a solo layout? So I'm going to use air points. I have three of them. I'm going to use, you know, now with air, you can only use one in a hex. So I'm going to use, it's just like a barrage. I'm going to try that SS unit one more time. And this time we still didn't hit it. So now we only have two left. And we're going to try to hit, let's see, where do we need the damage done? We need it done here on this unit here. Let's try to hit him. We roll three. We didn't hit nothing. That's two air points. Two out of three down. We got one more. Let's try to hit. Let's try to hit this Panzer stack right here. They're sitting in the woods. And we roll a one. Three airstrikes that went to crap. So they're done. Uh, okay. So much for that. So we're done with barrage and we're done with air. Thank you very much. See you after Christmas. Oh, wait. This is Christmas Day. Sorry. Oh, are you playing Christmas Day? I'm on Christmas Day right now. Nice. Merry getting? Christmas, Brian. Craig, Gamers with Coffee, Chuck. Yep. Hi, guys. Hey, Christmas. Yeah, Gamer with Coffee and uh, GWC. Actually, one's on, one of them's on your channel, one of them's on my channel. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, because Jeff always wins these uh, viewer content, viewer things when we do this. Sure. Uh, we're doing combat. Nope, we had to have for reconciliation. We don't have any. Everything we rolled was fulls. And the others were misses. All right, I got to switch to mine. There's something big happening in my game. I got to switch to mine. All right, let's shift one. over to the away game. <laughs> the away game. So my game is the taking BC. place on the 18th of December. Mine's earlier. I'm traveling back in time. The U.S. is trying to take back St. Vith. Uh, there was a Volks Grenadier that made a – oh, wait – I got to remember, can, I can hold. Okay, so here's a cool thing. In this SCS one, the Germans can either uh, stay, hold, or they can retreat. And let's, uh, never mind, I should I'm going to go back to Jeff because I got to read rules and that makes Mutt happy. So I'm going to go back to Jeff while he's doing something while I read the rules. <laughs> Shut up. And uh, I can mute you, son. So, Jeff. So we're going to go, do we want to attack here? Nine and four is 13 into five. But they're going to be in the woods. That's going to be three to one. That's going to end up back at two to one. And that is not good odds. But the Germans need to attack because you only got four turns. Yeah. So we're going to go two to one. We roll. Oh, my. Hold on. I'll get him to. Snake eyes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. has just lost two steps. I'm telling you, man, the attacking, hey, McMurray, the attacking in this is not e as easy as we thought. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, what were you going yeah, to say to Jeff? What were you going to say to Jeff? No, I was just going to ask. I was just going to ask in Bastogne, which granted is not a full bulge game, but is still unarguably in the same setting. There's some very interesting modifiers for artillery fire in terms of in woods and not in woods um, that also change between being in woods and shooting at somebody with artillery versus air. 
is that also reflected here? Is it sometimes easier or like in, in Bastogne, they try to reflect tree burst by, you know, it doesn't take that into account. Okay. That's fine. I didn't know. Yep. yep no, it, it is not, it, it is not, the, it's kind of on average on how hard it is to hit you in the woods. The hardest place is to hit you in a city and the easiest yeah. is in the open, but everything else is about the Makes same. Sense. They kind of shift what's a half to a full. So, okay. So, like, I'll just I tell you. you. I was going to say, I know that the artillery works different. I just didn't know if that was still a thing. So, in the All woods right. and forest, you get a full barrage marker on a five and six and a half on a four. And, for example, in um, a city, you get a half on a five and a full on a six. Now, you can wow. modify the only way that roll gets modified is with a plus one for each additional unit. So, like unit density. Yeah. So that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Sorry. Back to you guys. No problem. You right. two are two on the defense right there, buddy. But that attack is that was useless. Right. I'm going to switch to mine now to see if the U.S. can retake St. Vith. So what I was looking up, everybody. So in this, you can hold or or retreat, um, but you cannot do that if you are um, <clears throat> under an enemy barrage marker, which I was successfully able to do with these guys in this city. So this Volksgrenadier has got a full one under him, so he's got a half. So he's at a two defense. I've got four, seven, 10, 14, 19 against four. So that's gonna be five to one, but it shifts to left because it's in a city. Um, so okay, what did I say? Five to one, so it's gonna be a three to one, which is still pretty good. So it'll only be bad for the Americans on a one, two, or three <clears throat> on two dice. Here, I'll put the box here. Oh, this uh, brought to you by Wiley Games. All right. Ooh. Hell yeah. Close. Five on three to one. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? I read. I misread that. The first oh, no, line is two. Again. The first line is two or three, four, and then five. So I need to roll six or higher. A1, D1. So they're going to take a loss. They're 128 now. And the strongest U.S. unit, which is a 5414, the 14th Battalion of the 9th Armored Division, takes a loss. And they still hold St. Vith after all that. Fan for fantastic. Um, exploitation movement. So the cool thing is, I think you can actually. Can you? I think you can exploit in the city, or overrun in the no, city. No, you cannot. Oh, so that so the common the, you go back to the full rules for that. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I think it's in the uh the scenario rules too. The, really? Yeah. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna let you look that up. Thanks. It does matter though. I uh, did read it earlier because I had to. <clears throat> um. Overrun is only allowed. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's only allowed if the attacker is following contiguous road or track. Okay. I don't see where that. Well, oh, that's on a road or track. No, so sit, no, I read it. I think it's a corals in the city. You cannot do it. But I did, I did read it because I was looking for it too earlier. I mean, it seems kind of odd that you could do it in the city. Oh, yeah, because I was in a village, and I was looking up that rule. So a village you can, a city you can. Remember, cities are red, villages are not. All right, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah, five to one. Back yeah, we're, we're going back to Jeff. He's rolling dice. I'm reading oh, rules. 11, D2, R3. Don't worry about that because he's a city unit. There's a little bit of difference on who can advance after combat. Right. Man, I don't want to advance for them. <clears throat> I'm going to this guy. Six. We've got ten. Ten and 
GP10 and 7 is 17. 17 and the 9. It's going to be 2 to 1 back one. Remember this game here? You round in favor of the odds. Oh, boy, I don't want to do that. Yeah, right. I'm doing that. That's a terrible attack. That takes it to a 1 to 1. Nah, screw it. We're doing it. 1 to 1. An 8. Oh, D1. Second armored division. Just took a ding. Even with a barrage marker sitting on top of them boys. All right, what else we got, big boy? Nope, nope, and double nope. Dude, these little British armor units are strong. No, are they? Yeah. All right, that's it for the Germans. Uh, supply, I don't have any issues with that yet. Well, uh, excuse me. Exploitation, I'm going to do supply here. So if you're adjacent, you cannot exploit. So I don't have any of them. I got those two if I wanted to. And exploits you can overrun. He would only have two. Oh, yes. They would have eight. So he's going to go one, two, three, and we're going to overrun right there. So he's got two in the woods. So that's going to be eight to eight in the two is four to one, back one in the woods. So three to one on overrun. He rolls a seven, D1, R1. Fourth cab just took a loss, buddy. And they, Thanks, Charles. And they can no longer. Attend. Can you ever have enough bulge in Normandy games, Charles? I don't know. I don't think so. It's like Gettysburg. Um, okay. That's it for the Germans. We're still good on supply. Because he's on the other side there. All right. So we're going to the barrage marker removal for the U.S. So that is now useless. They've already used their aeroplanes. Uh, what happens to the if they're out of supply? If who's out of supply at the end of the if they're in the, their uh, DG? I'm not seeing that. Look under supply effects. One two, six. How do you lose your supply? So like these guys here. So supply in uh, SCS is pretty easy. You just call trace supply. So you can like, usually you can like snake all around and do it, mm -hmm. but they have to be within five um, hexes of a road or trail that connects to their friendly edge, which is this side over here for the Americans. These guys are struggling a little bit. In this game, you can't go through a, this is called a zone of control, Zoc bond. So you can't go through that one, and I can't go through that one. But I could go, I could snake around, but there's no road that I can reach in five hexes, I don't think. Four, five. That's four. not ZOC either, then, huh? Not in this one. Oh. You're right, Todd. It doesn't say that in the. Um... <clears throat> Normally, it would be, Jeff. Um, yeah, that's Brian. weird. But uh, where did I see that? I think you're right, but it's not in the supply section. This is the kind of things we're talking about, everybody. It's just kind of like, wait, what? Yeah, they, yeah. So that's how that works in this one. <sighs> wait, what? You're yawning? <coughs> what? It's only it's only almost <laughs> one o'clock. Man, it's almost <clears throat> one o'clock your time. Holy crap! Sorry. How did it get to okay. be midnight? What the? I'm good. I'm good. Jeffy says he's good. I'm good. He's going to fall asleep. Where's I'm my murder? I'm standing up. I can't fall asleep. That would be funny. It's in the under disorganized. Oh, thank you. End of friendly supply phase only out of supply. Boy, why would you not put that in the supply section? Yeah, why, why do that? We don't want to do that. Sorry, everybody. I, I'm, I'm, 
I gotta. I'm gonna be quiet because I really am loving this game. I'm... All right. Hey, are you there, McMurray? Yeah. So they do have a. They have a Bastone Screaming Eagle scenario. If you remember. Yeah, I'm really excited to play it. You is that? What's that? Is that gonna be the first one you play? Or are you? Probably. So Ooh. Kev's trying to set up a camp group Piper, but I think he moved on to something else tonight. But. I, I saw just, where he was posting about it. Yeah, I think he moved away for a minute. All right, so these guys are out of supply. Come on, Jeff. One dice. One dice only. Oh, six. Hey, I am done with that turn. Yeah, we're going to switch to Jeff here. I'm barraging again. You barrage what? I am barraging again. You're, you're, okay. Right along, buddy. You didn't I'm going to mute my mic here. I'm going to shoot a quick vid. Be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Well, you're he, right. How can you shoot a vid? Because he's going to do it on his phone. Uh, we got to do that with this guy. Oh, yeah, he can. I don't know if he's under a barrage marker. He can. Well, poof. How many turns in this game? Shoot him. Mine's four. Todd's a spot. How many in the campaign game? Um, 16. Okay, so there's single day turns? Yeah. Outstanding. Uh, let's shoot at. Can't shoot at him. Oh, yes, he can. I'll just do this first thing. Let's bust this guy in the face. Let's bust. Let's. Now, that's not going to serve anybody any purpose. Because he's not going to attack anything. Not going to give up that victory location. It's a two, two, and a four. Then I'm going to do nothing. I have to shoot that independent over here. And Ashley just bought Greg a Hex game. What'd you say? Ashley just said she bought Hex the Greg a Hex game. What game? Uh, that's what I'm trying to see in the chat here. What? Nope. From a yard sale, it was 50 cents. Well, what game is it? Give us the name. Campaign for North Africa. Huh. I'll I'll give you one dollar for it. One dollar. double your money. Campaign for North Ashley. Quit messing with me. Oh, under an iron. You bought under an iron sky for fifty cents. That's what she said. You that is the steal of the century. That's an SCS third, like third edition. That's like what we're playing right now. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of something else. Yo, look that up on BGG. I was about to say, that's not a... That's not a... Uh, Iron that's, I was thinking of Iron Curtain. Yeah, well, no, that's a Cold War game. Yeah, Under uh, an Iron Sky. That sounds so... It's complete. part of the Next War series. Under an Iron Sky? 18, 1985, Under an Iron Sky is a spiritual successor of the Next War by SPI, an operational, highly detailed simulation of a NATO Warsaw Pact conflict in Central Europe. Being a so-called monster, 1985 is not exactly a beer and pretzels game. Rules include every aspect of modern warfare, leaving little or nothing on an abstract level. Air war, helicopter, electronic warfare, special forces, revolts, nuclear and chemical warfare, you name it. In order to survive, both sides must keep a constant eye on the front line, rear areas, and on the sky above. That's that thin red line game. That was that was a pretty expensive penny to spend on that one. 50 cents? You bought that thing for 50 cents? I'll give you 20 bucks for it. There's no way. Is it complete? Yeah, they're still out there. Yard sales where people don't know what they have. Yeah, but that's a big don't know what you have. Well, well, yeah. Who knows? Well, there you go.
Or the quiet. It's not open. It's still got shrink wrap on it. Because Ashley just bought another no, no. Iron Sky for 50 cents. Wait, what happened here? Still got uh, shrink wrap on it, Ashley? Todd sounds listening. Okay. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Gotta what make we, sure it's complete. What are we selling it's games here? What are we selling live? What's going on here? If it's got shrink wrap on it, it's it better be complete. <laughs> Look at the chat, Todd. I just bought a game from a yard sale. It's 50 cents. It's called Under an Iron Sky. Is it 1985 Under an Iron Sky? That's the only one I can find. Yeah, it was made in 2018. Yeah, yeah. isn't that like a super expensive game? Yep. It's a super company. Yeah, it's a monster, yeah. Holy cow. Wait. There's got to be another. Uh, you guys are all like, no, it's not. You know what you did? Because that, if that's true, like third edition. Look at that. You got them all. You got us Look all wrapped up. up. Is, the company, is the company named Thin Red Lime on the box? This is Friday Night Lights with these guys now, man. Look at them. They're just boing, boing, boing. Thin Red Line. Is that the name of the company that made it, Ashley? Ashley, just is there a tank on the front of it and it's real dark with storm clouds on it? <laughs> it's the easiest way to figure it out. Far trying to find a game like a manufacturer anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. Just big red letters on the box, thin red line. Yes, 1985 third edition. There you go. Well, Mazel Wow. Congratulations. Found a, heck, found a heck of a deal. And she said I'll yes again to your question, Jeff. Playing time is 120 to 8,640 minutes. <laughs> just just 8,000? 50 well, bucks. 8,640. 50 bucks. I'll give you 75. There you go. Sold. Brian's got it. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I turned around and said, hey, Jack, I got it for a year. No, no one. take back, sees Brian. No, I'm just going to be the middle man. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll PayPal your ass right now. Yeah, you look at you, man. I thought you had all these games. I don't have that. Didn't have that one. I don't collect Cold War games. Mm -hmm. I have a few. That would be called the good return on your investment. Fifty cents to fifty dollars. Yeah, but maybe they want play. Just think, you can buy a box of miniatures with that. Ashley said, hell no. I just looked it up on Noble Knight. All right, well, I, you know well the Noble Knight is, is, is I, I was about to say, the, the Noble Knight price is, is, is rather inflated. You can get it for a couple hundred bucks on Board Game Geek, but yeah. Whatever. Yeah, the the Every, Noble Knight yeah. price is a pretty standard Noble Knight price, yeah. but it's it certainly has got a lot of headway for you there. It's only worth whatever someone pays for it. That's what I'm saying about the Noble yeah. Knight thing. What's Noble Knight charging for it? Four hundred, like thirteen hundred fucking dollars. Oh or my some dumb god! Shit. How do they get away with that? Because nobody buys it. That's how. Like, uh, I bet. I bet someone does buy it. That's. The there's Jeff. no way. Jeff is. Jeff will buy it. Because there's no. Yeah. Because there's. Yeah. It's four fourteen hundred dollars according to Noble Knight, but at the same time you can get a a, a copy from. Board Game Geek. That's unpunched for uh, five three twenty. Yeah, that's pretty good, Ashley. Good job. Good Free grab, point. by all means. <clears throat> What's the company? Who's the company that makes that? Thin Red Line. Oh crap. <gasps> Mm. Whose smap are we on? What are you doing, anything, Jeff? You taking a pause? Uh, I just did another barrage. Okay, I'm just doing pre-turn stuff right now. Ooh. Oh no! What? Are you kidding me? I think the ninth SS leaves the table. Okay. Ugh. I mean, what are you? Oh, this is a tough game for the Germans to win. <laughs> yeah, I mean it should be, but it's not fair. 
Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Toddy. Oh, wait. No, it's it's the first SS leaves. Okay. Who cares? Oh, those other SS guys. Bye. Bye-bye. And once someone's killed in this game, they're killed for good and forever. Amen. Yeah, you can. That's hard. That's a hard to find game here, it looks like. You don't see a lot of videos on that one. Yeah, I'm trying to look for it. I'm about to say it is, but at the same time, all the even all the geek market listings are two, three months old. So what's it called again? Under the Iron Sky, right? 1985 hyphen or 1985 colon under an iron sky third edition is the 2020 version not the 2018 version uh, um yeah but again so he, actually the, the the unfortunate thing about selling games is that like todd pointed out you got you, I mean, you can look at the um the price on noble knight but that's the only time that noble knight is that noble knight game is going to sell is when all the ones on geek market have dried up and the geek market price is a third of the Noble Knight price, which is still a great price, but they also aren't really selling because they've still been. You've got a pretty good spread of stuff all around the world. You got a British one, a, Euro, a couple on mainland Europe, and one in the U.S. Yeah. And they're all a few months old and haven't sold at those prices. So if you're looking to sell, which I can't blame you if you do, that'd be a pretty epic return on your investment. Yeah. You might have to to Todd price it to get any money out of it this year. We um just just check it, and make sure it's all there. It if it's while. sealed, don't open it the hell up. Oh wait, it's sealed. Yeah, it's in yeah. Oh That's my gosh! <laughs> Someone's turning over in their grave right now, but you know what? That's their problem. Um. Yeah, so you gotta go to Iowa and check out the yard sales area. Again. Yeah, get after it, Jeffy. I used to live there. I'll pass. So I did good. Yes, you did good, Ashley. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like I was going to pass on Jeffy anyhow. I'm just kidding, Jeffy. I'm sorry, buddy. No, why don't you go back to being a cop tonight? Because I can see you're in pick on Jeffy mode. No, I'm not. <laughs> We're in happy mode. Wait a minute. This is an interesting question, Jeff. <laughs> Uh oh. So U.S. supply is the last thing you do, except yeah, the last thing you do in a turn. Right. These guys are DG. Right. Then you go through the pre-turn sequence, and then you remove all the DG markers. If they're back in supply. Oh. So, so you notice you have the air supply allocation phase in there. Just. Drop that marker on the ground. Doesn't matter where you drop it. Anything within five hexes gets resupplied. I used it. It's a, I used it as a barrage, and I didn't get any error. So, mm -hmm. well, how could you use it in barrage? You got to do air supply allocation first. I didn't. So uh, the last turn, I had an air supply that I decided to use. If I, I, I think, last turn. Yeah, and then I rolled for air supply this turn, air, and I didn't get any. Oh, okay. Well, then if he still has supply, then. He loses. Oh my gosh. Five and a half to Oh my goodness. Three to one, back one. A twelve. <laughs> Both two losses to the Germans. With 560th bull square and deer has just taken a pounding. Back to Jeff. Tell me, Jeff. I'm attacked. So. Oh, no, I don't. I got another one up here. Six. You got five, six, seven, and four's 11. You got 12. And that's only two to one. I'm not doing that attack. Three, eight, ten, eight, and eight, six. I'm not doing that attack. Damn, you 
You just can't get no good attacks. This game might be tougher than we thought. So that's all it is for the American turn. They're doing their job, though. They're holding the Germans up. It looks like you're going to finish this game tonight. No, I won't. Because I am going to play golf tomorrow. Ah. Right, supply, turn marker, advance, and begin a new turn. Now the Americans will start to get reinforcements. All right. What's the weather going to be this turn? Is it Sorry. It's no freeze. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's once it turns freezing in this game, it stays freezing till the end of the game. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> four air supply. It's four. four air points four. Make worry, miniatures. What's up? You doing, what are you doing right now? Getting ready to prime a bunch of little airplanes. Uh -huh. How about you? I'm putting all these shields on these skeleton horses. Oh, uh, baby. Yeah. So, uh, airstrike yeah. ability, air supply. I don't need to worry about dropping supplies. Anybody? They're all good. <laughs> Um, reinforcement placement. All right, where's the big light brigade? Come on, at. Look to my rules. Look to my rules, my darling. So I think they could probably provide. Um, they should probably should have just provided like supply DG markers or something. Right. Because you'll have to sit here and go like, can't hey, because I just removed all these DG markers, and then I was like, wait a minute, that's because of supply. So you have to remember, these are for supply, these are regular barrages. That's I was about to say, that's a good point. There weren't any supply markers in your unboxing, were there? No, the only thing, they DG when they run out of supply, which is fine, but on the DG removal phase, you remove. it says remove all DG, and then you go and you read, and like, unless they're out of supply. So you got to check for supply again, technically, because oh, you might be like, Wait, why did I put these on here? Now I have a small scenario, so I know, but it's just something you have to remember. So, okay, who cares? All right, uh, German turn. What are you doing right now, Jeff? I'm um, putting reinforcements on the edge of the map. All right, I'll go uh, back to mine, I guess. Barrage markers. All right, so the Germans are moving and barraging. So I just lost three units. You guys could play the game like versus online here, you know, because it has the coordinates on the X. It is quite tough to maintain stacks and stuff. It gets uh, real tricky. I mean, we could certainly play a couple of smaller scenarios and say uh, Bastogne, but it can be tricky. Yeah. Oh, I can't move there. Freaking DG. I haven't had any sock bond stuff yet in this game. I have one right here, and they, so these guys, I can't surround this unit, and Marsh is prohibited for. Oh my gosh! Man. So half, one, two and a half, three, four and a half. All right, movement and barrage. Come oh, on, move. 10. There's not just artillery piece in here now, so we can shoot with him. He's down there. And where's the rest of his guys? Is he by himself? No, I think he's by himself. Oh, no, these guys are down there. What the heck is he doing way up there? <laughs> All right, so then. One, two, three, four, five. 11, 12, June. I don't even know who's who on there, man. I see what this German line over here is awful thin. The gray, the gray counties are the Germans, I'm assuming. Gray, gray, and, bla gray and black are German. Uh, as well as any light blue that you see. Which on mine, there is none. Oh, trying okay. to follow, but he keeps, he's so picky. What's up, buddy? Oh, Todd, just pick the damn counter up and move it. Second <laughs> That's 
Oh my gosh, man, this is crazy. Nothing. God almighty. Charles plans on finishing Red Typhoon tomorrow. Good job, Chuck. That's a good game. Well, let's do German reconciliation. They only hit with one barrage, anyhow. Gee, money Christmas. And that one flips the fold. That's a good thing. Three. All right. Now let's do U.S. barrage again. Oh, oh my gosh. This is crazy. What's that? I'm trying to move these units. Can't you just move them anywhere? Okay, so for for this black unit, that's why it took me a while, Brian. Is because for I got it. So for the black units, woods cost six, so it's going to cost me seven points of my ten to move in there. Well, how many movements do they have? Move the ten. Have? Seven oh. of my ten. Okay. So basically, he's going to get to move here, and that's it, and he's done. Oh. Is it getting next to someone to fight? No. He's not. He's not going to do anything to this guy. Oh. Uh, Three against two in the woods is going to become a one to two fight. Actually, not would be become a one to one. But see what I keep rolling fives and sixes for American barrages. Well, this guy he can't be stacked with any markers. He's going to be DG. So. Uh. Fine, that's what I'll do tomorrow. So I'll finish up my fistful of lead and then I'll get Saratoga out and get that going. You'll get what? Oh my gosh, dude. Finish Saratoga. up my fistful of lead game and then get Saratoga out and do that one. So I can show you guys I complete that game. How is your uh, fistful of lead game going? How are the halflings doing? Uh, it's paused right now because life happened. <laughs> Well, that's fair. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fast play it, man, through the turn. And then when there's, like, something about to happen, I'll show it, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. That makes sense. Pretty much it's coming to an end. I mean, the first – my medic died in the first round. <laughs> well, that'll <laughs> speed things up. <laughs> anyway. I start a campaign. I just hit one, two, three, four, five full barrages. Charles says he's going to be setting up Konig, Konigsberg on Ooh, that table. Another good game. Another good game. Charles don't sleep. I think you might be right there. Yeah. Hell of a barber, though. <laughs> nice. What? Nothing. It's it nice. They did a great job. Damn, mechanized. Do they have like tournaments for this stuff, X Oh yeah, they just had a WBC over in Pennsylvania. World, like World of Board Gaming Championships. Do they use like a chess time clock? It depends on the game. I'd use a time clock on every game. Speed it up. Now, they can't do like a monster game, though, right? Not usually. Yeah. Like a lot of these games, like like Battle of the Bulge and Russian campaigns, like that, they have tournament snares. They're like six, seven turns. So they're oh. shorter versions of the big ones. Hmm. Huh. Oh, that comes off. There, DG. Now, is it true with all these games that if you're on the road, it doubles? No, not necessarily. Oh. 
Um, oh yeah, Zoc bombs are only with infantry units. Shoot, so they're still good. Okay. How do you take this with your medication? Oh, I'm going to have some coffee. Who needs coffee? Huh? You need coffee, bright guy? Yeah, bright needs some coffee. Todd, I can't seem to break out here. No, I'm, I'm not, no. <laughs> Jeffy, you're breaking back towards German lines, though, right? Well, no, this is like the Germans' last attempt to break out of the bulge. I mean, I don't know if you see it on the map, but the MERS is like 15 hexes away. So this is out before they get trashed by the Brits at Cell. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Combat. Got a fight. I want to break out. So, where'd you get those tweezers at, Todd? A guy on Facebook. Greg was that? Greg was one though. Those are Todd's fancy tweezers. Ooh, it's, yeah, because it's live. Yeah, but they still don't work. Look. Oh, I did pick them up. Okay. 17. Oh, I thought you were really happy with those things. Dang, I get my dinner on one. Four to one. Back one, three to one. It was an eight. Success. D1, R1. Wait, these can these can these guys can't even oh they're not even exploit capable. Flippity flap. Oh no. <sighs> okay, so maybe I need to move these guys back here. These guys move here like I did. Man, I I don't have any God. Wow, this is this game is very hard. <laughs> What's up, asking, who, who does he look for on Facebook? What guy? He, oh man, I don't even know how to tell you. You have to be in the, I think the war gamer group, and he comes on and says, "I'm making another batch." Uh, uh, con, yeah, maybe constant marketplace. I think he might do it on there too. Sorry to be so. Uh, oh, the tweezers. the tweezers. The tweezers. Yeah. yeah. I got four pair of them. Well, then send me one. Would you like one? Are they, they big like Todd has right there? Yeah, the ones like Todd's using. Hmm. Yeah, if you could spare one, go for yeah. it. That's I've got these games to play, so. As you can see, I'm really using mine right now. I can't see because Todd's been hogging the camera the whole damn time. What are you doing, Jeff? I'm here to do this one last combat. All right, um, you're back on. Uh, focus up. You're blurry. Clean your lens. There we go. So this is going to be four to one. Still blurry. Looks good to me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Yep. Four to one. Where the hell is that? Four to one, back one. Eight on a three to one is a good roll. D one R one. And what's the white axis? Victory locations. Victory locations. Okay. Ninth. Hey Visby. Visby's on. Hey, what's up, Visby? Glenn Lord Dens here. We want to make this to bulge in August. Kind of getting prepped up, so uh, the three of us are going to play this full campaign in December. Sixteen. We're getting all the rules down. We're getting all the rules down now in August, so we'll forget them in December. We got the rules again. A three, not good. Oh, ouch! Germans keep getting full barrages. Wait, who can this guy reach? Hold on. All right, well. The 
Germans took another victory location. They still need two more. Wow, you knew better than me, man. I don't know how the Germans are going to pull this out. Okay. Um, U.S. Barrage. So now these guys can fire, which is not good for the Germans. This is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Bam. 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 Yeah, exactly. Wait. When's that come on? Oh, the U.S. Barrage is coming. So really, is there artillery in this one? What's that? Is there artillery in this? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh. So what I'm looking at are these artillery. So the U.S. gets to fire in the German turn. The range is nine on this guy. The range is seven. They have to have a unit of the same color spot for them. You can also use air, but I don't have any air this turn. So this this guy can hit this guy because this guy can spot him. What the U.S. really wants to do now is hit all the German units that can exploit because the Germans get the exploit now. So now with got, the spotter, do you get like some mod modifier for it or? No, the air gets us um, a plus one if they have a spotter because the air no doesn't normally need a spotter. Oh. If I read that correctly, if I'm remembering correctly. So actually, should I move these guys? I wonder if these guys should have moved back. Oh crap, I need to be quiet, man. I'm asking too many cardboard questions. Hold on. Does does a Jeff, are you busy work reading on something? No, I'm just debating my moves and barrages here. Oh, only infantry? Only oh, only infantry makes a Zokban. <laughs> Yeah, infantry, mech, paratroopers, and one other one. You got it written on your little thing there in front of you. Yeah, yeah, but it's not mechanized. It's infantry mechanized, mechanized infantry. Wow. So, so these guys probably should have backed. They could. I'm going to mess. I'm going to do. Oh, they can't. Crap. He very fell asleep. Oh, did he? Sounds like it. Well, let's all be quiet and sweet so he gets good dreams. <clears throat> Where are you asleep, right? What's he say? <clears throat> what? Oh. Maybe he is. Oh, no. He's backstage. It doesn't say that on his thing. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It, it didn't say backstage. I just thought you were on there. Sorry. No. It, it usually says backstage. Sorry. Well, it was grayed out, but you don't have your camera on, so I couldn't tell. Sorry. It's all good. Um, yeah, I'm here. He's not asleep. We don't have to be quiet. I've been talking to you guys, but you haven't been <laughs> talking back. <laughs> Really, would these guys stay here? Oh, do it. Does a f oh, yeah, it's not mechanized infantry, so we're good. All right, and so he's going to be backed up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, he can't do anything. This guy can. This guy's in the open. It's, oh my gosh. Oh, dude. So this guy's attacking nine, hitting this guy that I was going to use to overrun. He's in the open for artillery, which is a three plus four. I get a plus two, so I will not miss. They will have barrage. Oh, no. They get a plus two. They get a five. They're full barrage. So now they probably cannot do exploit. Fantastic. Uh oh. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. What the heck was that? <clears throat> All right. So that was a good move there because I do not think these guys can overrun if they are. Mechanized. 
Let's bomb the crap out of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's reaching. Oh, oh. Uh, what's going on? So, King. Three. Ashley says she's going to bed. See, you, Ashley. Thanks for jump. Thanks for coming on. Same with uh, Greg. See, Greg. Thanks for coming on. Oh my God! You guys read the chat on that one, man. What Ashley put on there? Wow, oh, boo! That is cold blooded, dude. Boo. We had these guys going, man. What you put on? Oh, it was all a story, man. The, the Iron Sky thing. Oh. Dude, see if we believe anything you say next time. Do what? Oh, I was talking to Ashley. She's a priority. Told her to see if we believe anything she says next time. So, Jeff, I'm not seeing anything. It looks like you can exploit movie even with a barrage marker on you. Do what? Looks like you can barrage, you can exploit even if you have a barrage marker on top of you. You can exploit. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you yeah. can move. You can move if you have a barrage marker, so yeah. So that didn't do me. Oh, what I should do is add it to that hex. Because it costs you to enter and exit it. But they're still going to be able to do something, so. Because it's all going to come off at the end of that turn. So, okay, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so exploit. Exploitation. So, a full barrage. So, you can barrage just taxes, which is cool and different, not something you're able to do. Um, Any garage markers be 3.5. Why would that not be on the chart? I wonder. Man, I'm just, I tell you, man, I just hit so many freaking full barrage markers on the US artillery. It's not funny. Daughter's so plus two. So to move into that hex is one, two, three, four. And what's it cost to overrun? Spent two. I'm going to get old get daughter's home. She gets allowed. Follow the contiguous road. And the road. Oh, not start within or enter an enemy barrage hex anywhere in its movement. Okay, so he can't do it. Boom. That was effective. Wow. Right, this guy will try. Oh, wait, so can he hit him? One, two, three, four, five. So he can hit him. Yeah, I kind of like this barrage system. I do too. Uh, so he's going to roll one. Is it one or two? It's just one. Oh, my goodness. They're full barrage. So they also can't. Oh, my goodness. I'm also rolling full barrages for the American. USA. 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 So now what that means, everybody, is that these guys cannot exploit move. And really, again, it would be better to put it here because that's the only path to get there. So, Because these are all going to come off the end of the turn. So now that's the end of the German turn. German supply. Everyone's good. So then that's that. So that's it. Now we flip over to the U.S. turn and barrage marker removal. This is going to take a few plays to see if I can get the Germans to win. Man. Uh, barrage marker removal did it. Movement and barrage. U.S. I think I need to get my these guys up here quicker. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sheesh. 
It's like the Ardennes was hard to move through. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? Hey, a little, that's a little World War II humor for you people. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, David Murray? David Murray said the barrage affects the hex. So any units moving through the hex are affected by their tiller action on that hex. That's where the blue on blue comes in. Correct. Yes. Thanks, sir. U.S. has some nice long-range guns in the artillery park. Yes, they do. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, David. Yeah, I, I like, I'm with Jeff. I like the artillery in this. Have you played, Dave? Wait, what am I doing? Movement barrage. Okay. Oh, this guy moved. So I have to mark, definitely have to mark the artillery that they move because they cannot fire in the turn they move. That would be seven. That'd be 10. That'd be three. And one artillery, so. That guy there. This guy will move here. David says he's just hanging out, flipping and sleeping, recording phase. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I, I clipped and have not sorted. <laughs> that still needs to be. Well, I, I'm sorry. I took them out of the counters, but I have not rounded and cornered them. All right. I'm gonna go hey, man. Do you have to hear much? I'm going to go get coffee. Okay. Bye. See you in a sec. Oh, I'm on. I'll just get a mute. Jeez. Yeah, he's just going to go. Okay, grab bye. Me. See you later, man. See you in a second, Brian. See you, Brian. Good night. Sleep tight, Chihuahua. Shut up. I'm getting coffee. Shut up. <laughs> All right. This guy's going to go out of ten. He's in a city. When the lights. We built this in the city. Damn, all the half barrages are getting rolled into full barrages. Oh, my Lord. Half barrage. I don't think the Germans are going to win this one. I don't think the Schneekel peoples are going to win this one. So he's fired. He's half barrage. Oh, he didn't. That one failed. And that wasn't a key attack in him. I don't think I'm going to move. I going to do movement, too. I keep getting to do that before I do the reconciliation stuff. I'm kind of leaving myself weak here, but I'm not seeing the Germans doing Jack or Jacques crop. Just hanging out, still in the clipping and sorting phase. You saw my comment, didn't you, David, in the YouTube? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? <clears throat> so he's moved up there. Well. All right. Half, half barrage reconciliation. So everybody, when you get a half barrage, you roll on this table here to see if it's going to be removed or full. No modifiers. Four, six is full. It's a one, so it comes off. So that's too bad for the Z Americans. Too bad. So sad. So now there will be, there will be combat. He's a two, and he's getting attacked by three, four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, twenty. So it is ten to one. Minus two. Wait, anybody attacking across any hex sides? No. So it's seven to one. Minus two is five to one. So it's five to one. Five to one. I need to roll five or higher. Six, barely. You are rolling two dice, right? Oh, whoops. I'm rolling a D2. And D1, R1. <laughs> You're rolling a D2? So he is eliminated. The German is eliminated. The Americans can take that over. So who do I want to put in there? Well, 
That's an independent movie. Sweet. And what's an independent movie? When the lights. I want to form a Zoc bond, everybody. We're forming a Zoc bond, buddy. No, oh, he better advance so he doesn't stand in the same hex as him. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. I'm just about to make that macaroni sound. In one in the morning. All right, the Americans took St. Vith back. Uh, good luck, Germans. Hell yeah. Merkin. Um, next, U.S. supply. All right, does anything happen? If they're already out of supply, does anything happen? If they're already out of supply? Uh-huh. What do you mean, does anything happen? They get DG, don't they? But what if they're already... At the end of the phase, if they're not back in supply, how you doing, yeah. valves? There's no uh, attrition. No, there is no. I didn't. I don't remember seeing any of that. All Just right. everything's reduced when they're out of. No, you're DG'd in this game. There is no out of supply. They're not DG'd again. Nothing squared. It's just they're still no, DG'd. They're just, okay. they're just, just asking the question. Boy, just, you do talk mean to me. Steve's right. <laughs> I'm not talking mean. It's one in the morning, man. Tidy, do I need to meet me to Jeff for you? Uh, no, you no. Stop. You already did it. Okay. That's why I'm retaliating. You're retaliating? Because wow. you already mean to me. So you're what? mean mean to me. <laughs> so yeah. I'm giving it back to Todd. <laughs> He's just a poor defenseless little young man. Yeah, thanks. All right. Wow. Okay, man. All right, I got to really think about this as the Germans. What can I do? <laughs> What tools in the toolbox of the SCS Ardennes 2 can I use to? Because I'm, I mean, St. Vith is now protected by six, backed by two. Wow. All right. So, you know, anything else? U.S. supply, game turn, advance, and now go to there. Now I'm gonna shoot a video. Can you guys talk while I shoot a video? You keep shooting these videos. You're shooting every turn. Not bad. He hasn't finished a turn. We've only been rolling for like an hour and a little bit. Damn it! I'm getting ready to start the last turn. Exactly. I'm on turn three. Really? Yep. Wow. You guys are cutting. Oh, we're playing small scenarios too. That's fair. But so, yeah, his is five turns. Mine's four. Guess what? You guys all get to see video of tomorrow. What? A uh, victory awaits. Victory at sea. A victory awaits. <laughs> I await your victory. What's up? I await your victory. Me too, buddy. I was really hoping we were going to be able to retake Berlin. But hmm. I don't know. If... Not the way Todd rolls dice. Well, I'm working with him. I guess it's this one. It's way past my bedtime. Nah. I think I feel at 1.30 in the morning knowing I got to play golf at 7.30. Oh, geez. Well, Jeff, the issue is if you sleep too long, your brain goes into, like, shutdown mode, and then it takes you extra time to, like, get going, you know? But... <laughs> If you stay on here with us, it just gets into that like you know screensaver mode, and then you can just shake it right back awake, and it's perfect, and you're you're golden. So, uh, 
I he's can't wait to young, use Jeff. He's, he's too young. <laughs> Do you say you can't wait until I'm 60? 61, yep. <laughs> Good luck. I'm never going to get to be 61. So, too young. I need a game to clip. I don't have any games to clip. Well, guess what the best part of seeing Toddy tomorrow is? That's freaking awesome. Well, there we yeah. go. Best part of waking up is Toddy in your garage. Well, that's right. You guys are gaming tomorrow. Uh huh. We're playing the Victory Awaits. Wow. We have to play that in my garage because we need a big table because it's a big old three mapper. Mm. I have a table in my garage that is large enough to put that on that I don't mind keeping it on. Um, hopefully, we're going to play for like three hours. Hopefully, we can get through three, maybe four turns. Um, there's only eight turns in the game. Wait, wait, wait. Two. Todd has that much time to spend three hours? Yeah, it's been like a month since we played it last, so. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're doing about two or three turns every month. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to finish the. We, if we do three turns tomorrow, then we got to do the next three turns before September tenth, because that's the end of the game, and we're we're finishing it before. Well, I mean, I guess you could go out there and do it if you have time, but I don't think you've had time either. Not a lot. Um, right. right. And I, I like I enjoy playing with you, and I don't want to finish the game up without you there. Aww. Like, Aww. well, with, with It Never Snows, there's 18 turns, you know? Um, there's 18 turns, and how many counters, uh, activation counters are there? Like, <laughs> exactly. 30? <laughs> um, oh, no, I'm talking about with It Never Snows. There was way more turns. Oh. Um, than there are in a victory of weight, so it wasn't as big a deal to run through a few turns on my own. Right, right. Um, but, yeah. Jeff, are you doing something I should be showing? Uh, no, not Robson. You're eating mac and bringing cheese. <gasps> All right, mute your mic. Just kidding, dude. One o'clock in the morning, you're having mac and cheese. It's one of those little lean cuisine ones. It's one thirty in the morning, oh, also. The wheels. Wow, an hour. Get ready to do some combat. Anything? Yeah, we got here. We got Valve BTW. I what's up? Oh, you guys haven't checked the chat. I thought you guys were. I usually am pretty good about checking the chat, but I'll see what Dave's been sacking about. I got a good laugh out of Carl Fung with my comment about the Canadian Forestry Company and the RAF secret extraction unit, C. Mark Felton. Historically, the Germans didn't have much luck assaulting the Eisenbord Ridge area. Yeah, not going to do it here either. Yep, it's a good time. I mean, we got, we got seven people watching in theory, but it's probably all of us. Okay, pre-turn <laughs> weather determination. It's done. Airstrike availability. Uh, let's roll. Roll, baby. Most of Americans can get is one anyway. So it doesn't matter. One. And they get three, they get zero. Five to one. I roll six. Reinforcement one. placement. Gosh. I got to make sure. The Americans don't get anything. One bicycle unit eliminated. Barrage and DG removal. Not them. They're out of supply. How different my Friday nights have become, man. Right? Yeah, you started out on Friday nights pooping your pants and crying all the time. And then you had some really entertaining years where, you know, you, you were, yeah. you know, you were newlywed, you were dealing with your kids and stuff. Movement. And now you're back to crying and pooping yourself. That's true. It One or two. Pioneer unit destroyed. No argument there. Nope. Not good. Not looking good. God, man. No. What's up, buddy? Oh, I got the low boat theme in my head. I'll try and tone it down. I knew I shouldn't have turned my camera on earlier. Well, you were sitting there talking sweet nothings of Todd for a bit there. Well, you know, that happens. Yeah. All right, so gosh, I'm not gonna think St. Beth is not falling in. Not with that attitude. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I can get him out of supply. What's the US supply? I 
That's it for the American attacks. The West Edge. Maybe I can uh, weaken these guys with that. Station. So I can fire three barrage on them, on that one town. Two. I need him over here. And I'm just going to have to tag at some low odds here. So attack there. He is in woods. Oh, are you flipping kidding me? He's done. And there's some of that, those guys over there. Uh, so we'll just fire those guys. So two, two Nebelworth. Nebelwerfe? Maybe I should fire one Nebelwerfe over here. Got to get rid of this guy. One there and one here. Last game turn. Wow. Yeah, I got to get rid of some American units. This is insane. Uh, he's in marsh. He's in woods. Man, this guy's in everything. Forest. Who's that guy? Four. He's a half. At least he's half. This seventh armored Fuller task force. So he's good. And he'll fire on this guy. What's he in? Oh, he's in woods. So it's going to be woods. Come on. Uh. I mean, understand everybody. I'm happy the Germans are doing poorly. But. Um, Yeah, that's all barrage. So he can't move there. Can I move to that? Two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two. Move him out of the way. Two. Boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom. I think I'll move this guy here. See, Brian, you could have set up a game and played. Could have. You've probably been done by now, Andrew. Yeah. Nah. I'll be sitting there looking at the stupid rules again. I'm watching golf, streaming, and playing at the same time. Wait, you're, you, you're watching golf? Yeah, over here on my TV in front of me. It's a replay of what I watched earlier. But. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't think the Germans have what it's going to take here. Oh, this guy can fire. Um, shoot. One, two. They need two more VPs, and I don't see where they're going to get them. This guy will come up here. It's kind of a puzzle. I guess uh, I'm, I'm not very fast at solving puzzles. I'll tell you that right now, Brian. That's why it takes me forever. So. The campaign of this would probably be very interesting. Alrighty, man. Okay, where would you go? So one, two, three, four. Four and a half, five, six and a half. So they could move into there. So move to. So then these guys will move here. Boom. All right, come on, baby. Well, I got no more 560th Volkswagen Beers units on the map. But the artillery can self spot. Now, that's funny. Oh, no, no, I do. I do that. My bad, homies. Hey, Murray, wake up. I'm here. Oh, what are you doing right now? Reading about Cyprus apparently pushing through or 
Turkish troops pushing through UN peacekeepers in Cyprus today. Oh, you're reading a book? No, I'm reading the news. Oh. I watched a YouTube thing today about our SOF teams over in Niger. Yeah, they're not having a good time either. Nope. Well, the Nigerians aren't having a good time. Uh, Brian, why'd you sound so surprised when you thought I was reading a book? <laughs> this guy reads books. I know he reads books. I know he reads books. All right, game over. It's too late to read, man. Fall asleep. My Germans have failed. That's it? You're done? Yep, they failed. Four turns. Wow. Good job, Jeffrey. They only took two of the four that they needed. Damn, I would have thought they would have done better. This is the second game in a row that has surprised me with the result. Good job, buddy. All right, well, tomorrow I'm clear off the table playing Zombicide. Yeah, whatever. I need to get a game. What a game. Going. Guys, what a game. Need to shoot a video? No, nah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm too tired to shoot one tonight. Remember, you talked me into that shit last night, and I spoke like I was in four different languages. Accurate. I still think you did a good job. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Full barrage, baby. Hey, I'm commenting on your videos, videos now, man. Right. Nice idea what you're no, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. It kind of makes sense though. German artillery wasn't fantastic, was it? I mean, it wasn't good for the guys that were there. They tell you. Was the German artillery not that fantastic or was your US artillery stellar? Hey, uh, Kaiser said hi, Todd. Oh, hi, what's up, man? Modeling for no. advantage. Yeah, we are modeling for advantage. Dent, dent. Well, we're not though. I just stole his copyright. Sorry, buddy. Have your lawyers contact my people. <laughs> All right, let's watch you finish. <laughs> Heard that before. All right, so these attacks. This guys are all going to check this boy across the stream and into woods. So that's going to be two left. It's going to be uh, one, two, three, so nine, 10, 11. Look at that tweezer action. 14, 14 against one and a half. Got to get the calculator out. Here, let's do our golf voice, Jeff. Our golf voice? Yeah, comment like uh, Nance. Oh. <laughs> and there's one for the ages. <laughs> Don't forget to round properly. Nine to one. Nine to one. Come on. Tech. Now, five to one. Four ships. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, he's not doing too well. A1, D1. On a five to one or an eight to nine to one? No, it's seven to one minus two because I have two shifts. So it's a five to one. You roll a four, you get a one d one. You are rolling two dice, right? I'm telling you, dude. If I go play s, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull out ASL right now, and I'm gonna roll twelves. <laughs> But oh, my top, my coffee tastes good. That's, that's that's hell good. yeah! So, All right, well, let's see what happens with these guys. Three, eight, twelve, fifteen. <gasps> two to fifteen be seven and a half. That's seven to one. He's in woods. That's going to be a shift to six to one. Let's do roll nice, buddy. Let's do. We need a nice high roll on that. Seven's fine. Seven is D one R two. Oh, I could have decided to. All right, hold on. Would I would I retreat from that? But if I retreat, I retreat five hexes or something, isn't it? No, if you do a retreat before combat, it's five hexes. That's what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna go two hexes because that's insane. Boom, boom. That's like better for me. Now, yes, Kaiser, I am watching. 
Paint dry. He's a hex encounter gamer now. <laughs> so wait, so what's the advance after combat, Jeff? Do you have it memorized? Well, yeah, your mo mechanized or units and stuff or exploit units can move the full. But remember, if you do that, you don't get no exploit movement if you're adjacent. Yeah. So if you need to break out, you might not want to advance them all the way up there. Now I'm going to put these guys here, and they can advance. They can exploit one of these guys. <laughs> I am. I'm building the Empire of Dust uh, cavalry, cavalry right now. No, you're not. You were reading the rules to a game. No, I'm not. You well, you just said that before he come on. Oh. Five to two. He said he was putting stuff on cavalry, on horses. Yeah. That he was reading the rules. Is two and a half, so it's three to one, but it's going to go down to two to one. But I got to make the attacks. I got to make every attack possible. Two to one. Oh, a nine on a two to one should be all right. He was loading up like boss. Two D two R one. See, there's that D two R one. Oh, D2, you're dead, bro. That's very helpful. So your do your Germans still have the opportunity to win? Uh, it's going to be tight. Uh, no, it's not going to be tight. It's going to be really tough. I, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to do it. I mean. Which is weird because that's the initial days of the fight. No, this is right afterwards, isn't it? They're trying to retake St. Fifth. Ooh. Yeah, well, I'm on the 20th of December right now. He took yeah. St. Biff on the first turn. And then I lost it in the second turn. Let's go, Todd. So I almost have to go to bed. <laughs> so, yeah, 4, 8, and 11. Oh, man, it's going to be bad. Well, I mean, if the Germans don't take it right here, the game's over. Well, I'm not attacking St. Biff right now. You're on your last turn, aren't you? I got five turns. I'm on turn three. Good God. Oh, man. So four to one. But I'm attacking. What's the best one? Marsh. So, oh, okay. Wait, are these, is he in a four? Oh, he's in a four. Oh, wait. Can. Oh, wait. I can't even attack into forest. Because tanks can't move into forest. Is that right? That's right. They cannot prohibited. Prohibited. Forced, right. not woods, right? Forced. Yeah, I mean, so I could try to attack into the city then. We built this city. Ten, ten against six into a city. I don't think I'm doing that. We built this city on X and can't. All right, so let's have, <sighs> I wouldn't have moved those guys there, so they would have stayed up here. There goes that tweezer action. Oh, look at the skill. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Exploitation phase. I feel exploited tonight. And you can overrun during exploitation. You can? Yes, you can. But you can't do it into a barrage, right? So. All right, well, we're going to go over here then. These guys. Oh, I don't see any barrages. The one right here. That's a. Is that friendly or is that? It's a friendly. Well, that doesn't affect a, a friendly unit. <laughs> okay. Zero effect on friendly units. <clears throat> Plus one for movement. Oh, that's it. All right. Well, I I just read that. Okay. Okay. That's cool. All right. Thanks. So he's a one. Oh, he's, you're talking about the units that are under the barrage marker. No, never mind. We're good. So he's one movement point there. It's going to cost plus two movement to move in there. So it would be two and a half. Uh, so he's moved one and it'd be three and a half. So three and a half is where he stands right now. He's going to exploit into there. <laughs> I'm not sure Todd is a suit is suitable for an SS Panzer leader. Don't like the odds of attacking. That's how it. That's not how it. That's not how it. God bless. Attack. 
D one R one goes. Oh, not that. No, got He's this. good. So now I thought. So they they won the overrun. Okay. They have to advance into the hex, correct? And they can continue to move. But then they can continue to move. So, so, so he two, three and a half, and now he's back. Two for the overrun. And five and a half. The barrage. Six, seven, eight. So he's going to overrun his second one. Oh, boy. Into a town. Yeah. Seven, eight. Do I have the movement? Yes. Eight, and a village does what? Oh, nothing. Yeah. Oh, Praises a child. <laughs> okay, so he's rolling at uh, 8, 12, 4 to 1, 4 to 1, 3 to 1. No. Pete, are you freaking kidding me? God, you stink. I do stink. Uh, A2. No. A1. All right. He needs a dice intervention. Well, uh, who was it, Kev, saying that these dice suck? I'm going to kind of go along with that. See these? Look at this, everybody. Watch. They were rolling sixes for you earlier. If you roll them singly, they roll sixes. If you roll them together, they roll not even six total. Uh, battalions, I believe, is the... Yeah, yeah. Looking for battalions, task force, comp groups. A regiment here and there. And I got that song in my head. We built this thing. One. One and a half. Oh, he plays the mamba. Six, seven and a half. Listen to the radio. Do you remember? We built this city. Brian? We took this city. Hey, don't get me blocked. Stop singing. We really are not good enough <laughs> to be mistaken for Jefferson Starship, dude. You're good. Don't flip us off. Yeah, Who's flipping us off? Todd. What? Yeah. Do That's that. what's going to get you deleted. Because he took this city on bad die rolls. Because I'm very angry. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't, whoa, I can't even get out of the woods here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, table flip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Table Seven, flip. <laughs> eight, 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 table eight, flip. Nine, ten. He is a hex counter player. Mm -hmm. Look at Todd. He's just moving counters wherever he wants, doesn't he? Oh, sorry, yeah. Kaiser. Kaiser singing in now. Oh, you're welcome. Glad we could help. <laughs> well, I mean, the Germans made it across over to here. I mean. So you lost two? No, I've got two more turns to go for the Germans. Oh, my gosh. I know. That's <laughs> All right. You got nine people. I can't believe we have nine people watching this. Hope everyone's having a great time. There's seven well, they're their morning tea over there across the pond. We're entertaining people, and I haven't been talking much, so they're staying. So combat. <sighs> okay, some German supply. Three <laughs> good. And that is the German turn. U.S. turn. Bark, mark, barker removal. Nothing to remove. How many casualties you got? Movement and I don't know. I haven't really been keeping good track of that. I should have. I've been moving them over this side over here. I didn't keep track of it. All right. Barrage. And, so I need to. Okay. Now I need to move down into the city over here. So these guys are going to hustle over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This cavalry group's going to go over here and get into the... So what? So it's 70... Uh, you need to tilt your camera to the left a little bit. 
So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So up. kind of just eight hours ahead of me. Tilt it up. There you go. Ray, you got it. You're good. You're good. Dude, yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock here, man. I'm, a, I'm toast. Yeah. Oh, you're okay, buddy. I believe in you. It's two in the morning here, so I'm going to bail. All right. Thanks for coming on, man. Heck yeah, man. I'll shoot a video tomorrow sometime. I'm staying on. I'll bye, keep guys. going. Oh, dude. Shoot those snowmen. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Are you leaving, Mutt? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought you said you were getting all sleepy. Sleepy kind. Oh, I am sleepy. Oh, it's dandy. Are you going to finish so. these turns? Yeah, dude. Barrage marker removal, U.S. movement and barrage. Um, U.S. half broken place and movement and barrage. Good night. Love you. Good night. Love you. Good night. Love you, Ryan. Don't leave. My, no, my daughter. She's going to bed. Oh, so why'd you tell us you loved us? Do you no, not really she, love she's us? She's telling me, good night. Love you. It's, she says that every time. Hey, stay in your lane. Todd, I don't think he loves us. No. That's what I'm no. getting from this conversation. No. I think this guy will abandon this town and move back here. Maybe there. He'll just move there. Oh, there is one of those white X. That's a victory. Uh, these are movement. Oh, but no, 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 Jeff said those are victories. No, they're they're just markers to show who you've activated or where something's at or something like that. They're uh, tile space. They're they're tile spacers, homie. Well, yeah. I tell you, Hex and Counter try so hard to copy miniature games. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for them to fire artillery. Because they're not attacking, except for here. You know what? We could do a bolt action of this. Clear hex. This isn't going to be good. Or, uh... oh, I did get uh, the Osprey Absolute Emperor uh, book in finally. Nice. Because I figure if you know if that Waterloo doesn't turn out too well, then I'll use the Emperor. I might use it anyways. Why not? Um, I think Harry put out another really basic. It might be included in Waterloo. Another really basic Napoleonic rule set. Right. I'm digging these uh, blue ospreys, though, man. They're really cool. It's kind of disappointing. So what those are is they're like just rule sets that Osprey purchases. Yeah, puts a little spit and polish on them, and then oh, puts yeah. them out. The unfortunate reality is that there's not much consistency between them, and they're not very well supported, which makes it really sad. Um, some of them are really good. Like I played Ronin a ton back in the day. Um, I played some Gaslands. I played. We well, played. You did, so, yeah, so you did. So I got Ronin in here too. Yeah, Ronin's a cool game. They yeah. they made a on guard. Which is kind of like Roman. Musketeers. Oh, yeah, it's like three musketeers style stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it, the, the game doesn't play exactly like Ronin, but when you're playing it, it feels very similar because it's the same kind of size. And um, those are both fun. I'm trying to think of what other ones that I've got. I have their uh, not for Queen and Country, or I do have for Queen and Country. Um, they had one that was like specifically designed to be interwar combat, like. The Spanish Civil War, the Irish Civil War, the Russian Re Russian Revolution, stuff like that. That one's pretty fun. I have Rebels and Patriots over here. Um, again, some of them work really well. Some of them are kind of eh. Some of yeah. them get put out, and then you never see a single word about them again. Like, I've got one that's like kobolds and something, and it's supposed to be like fantasy yeah. barroom brawl. I don't even yeah, know and you use the cards. What's up? And you use playing cards for movements and all that. Yeah, I don't even know if Osprey's... I haven't seen a single solitary anything about that game. Uh, Joy Wargaming did one. Obviously, I have Castles in the Sky. Um, castles in the Sky. That's the one about Victorian airships. Boats don't fly, Peter Pan. I know, but Victorian airships do. 
Um, mm. Oh, Black Ops. I played a lot of Black Ops. Yeah, I saw that one. I wasn't too sure. I didn't move it's those not guys. bad. Um, I have Ultramar on guard, a World of Flame fighting sail. I don't remember what their like ship to ship pirate game was, but that one was again not not really my favorite. I think John from Joy of Wargaming had some trouble with that one as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the again, I really like a bunch of them. Um, and there's some people that you see again and again and again, right? Those like game uh, of them. Fun fact, Wiley or Fistful of Blood was almost that same sort of game. Oh. Way back in the day. But yeah, <laughs> it was not, thankfully. So, yeah. No shit. So that's pretty cool, right? You got that going oh, yeah. for you, which is nice. Um, that's the whole purpose I got these is try out all these systems. So yep. Even if guys are still on, I'm even gonna get that SPQR going. <gasps> the Warlord SPQR. <gasps> yeah, Kaiser's favorite. <laughs> <Rule board. laughs> yeah. Huh? Do you have the second edition rule book? The revised yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I got. Yeah, I got the second. Okay, cool. Uh, I look forward uh, to seeing you mess with it, man. Yeah. I've been watching Kaiser's uh their uh their SPQR uh, campaign. Okay. Yeah. Outstanding. That's what's up. Um. But I'll finish. I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I have uh, wife's actually working tomorrow, so I'll have time to finish up the physical red thing, get that recorded, and then I'll bust out the Saratoga and all that. Nice. Uh, oh, Kaiser says SP card rules is crap, but playing Romans called Erex longest and such is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I mean, there's there's also, I mean, there's, um, I think it's Men of Bronze. That's yeah, I got the Men of Bronze. That you could probably play that same sort of thing with. Um, there's some sort of. You might like that, Brian. There's some sort of one of the first ones they came out with was some sort of like Roman horror game. Broken Legions, baby. There you go. I um, got Here's what I got. I got Broken Legions, Ronin, Men of Bronze, Fighting Sail, Colberts and Kobolds, whatever. Absolute Emperor and Rebels and Patriots. I want to get that Rebels and Patriots going too. Um, I tell you what, if you want to get that going, we can one of these nights we can kind of just sit down and work our way through that at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can do that. I'm all game for that, man. Um, just got to get the miniatures all taken care of. There you go. How about a No gray games? on the table. Well, I've got enough stuff that's not gray that I feel like I could probably make that happen for myself over here. Yeah. So, okay. Back to X encounter. What's going on, Todd? Uh, the Americans just defeated a, a ninth SS unit, a Yagpanza, and pushed them three hexes back. So they took a hex. I'm just deciding if I want to advance the someone, you know, up here past that and into here, or just keep them over here. I could go actually back here, kind of like that. So, although if he's here, he can block those guys from coming across the river. But he's in the clear, so that no, he's not. He's in wood, so that's good. All right, so he's there. All right, that was combat. Uh, exploit unless I unless I want to e exploit. Hmm. Hold on. Kaiser Maybe. says uh, open iron is the best uh, set of sail rules he's ever tried. Seven for two. It's four to one. Two to one. But it would leave that open. You know what? Open on. We're go here. I'm going to try it. You know, I, don't like, I don't like it, but this should be a. 
Man, that's probably not a good move. What's not a good move, buddy? I don't think I should try to overrun that unit. I should just stay Do over it. here. Come on. Yeah, like this is what we were talking about where you're you gotta think like an SS Panzer group and leader, right? Or group and fuhrer. Attack. Attack, attack, attack. Hell, they even had the Herman Goering. It's, it's, the Amer it's the Americans right now. Oh. Well, That's you got to think like that. He's, like not, that. Here. he's oh. not here yet. He's on his way. Come on, man. He's on his way, man. All right. U.S. supply done. Another turn done. McMurray, have you seen Flash Gordon yet? No. No. God. Right, keep talking with yourself. Talk about um Flash. talk about talk about it because I'm doing it again. I was looking oh, for I was looking for it streaming. It's nowhere streaming. Right. Um Kaiser said that uh, uh Oak and Iron's the best set of sail rules he's ever tried. I know, I heard you. Oh, oh okay. Didn't you tell me there's something else out there that uh not there's probably. a lot. There's a lot of really good. You gave me a whole bunch of tall ships, man. I want to put them to use now. I did. Um, so I like it is warm work. I don't remember who that's written by, but again, it's available on uh, uh, Board Game Geek. Um, that's really zoomed out. Like you can play Trafalgar. Yeah, Trafalgar. That's what with that. Um, David Manley's Far Distant Ships is another very good one that's pretty zoomed out for fleet actions. Um, big fan of that. I wish a lot of his rules, so that's all done by Long Face Games, and he used to write for A&A games, but not as much anymore. I don't think any anymore. But his rules used to, he used to kind of go with, he'd have a fleet system built in, and then he'd have a smaller like squadron level system built in. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if far distant ships is like that. I don't think it is. Um, but if he did have a smaller scale game for age of sail, hot damn, I am sure that would play phenomenally well. Um, I have not played a rule set of his yet that I didn't like that didn't make sense. What you, once you started playing it and wasn't easy to get a hold of. Um, Todd has played a number of his rule sets with me and, oh, wow. and had a good time. That's what we used for that Spanish American war, that game that I took to March to victory last year that everybody picked up on and had fun with. And even though we had some guys who were really big into the, the period, they all thought that it was a very good rule set. They enjoyed it. They liked, they thought it encompassed the feel of pre dreadnought naval warfare very well which was a, a rather high praise from some of those guys um but yeah those are very good rules i like i said i don't know if far distant ships has one or if he has written a similar rule set like to that under the a and a publishing um mm -hmm. that's the sort of thing you i'm sure figure out on board game geek board game geek in no time at all um but let's see here some other good ones if you're looking for something that might be a little more granular a little more crunchy post captain by old dominion gameworks is fantastic fantastic yeah. um if you've got a hex mat or you want to play with the hex mat you can always use like uh wooden ships iron men or um flying colors and just can put the stats from the counters onto your ship bases. That works very well. Hell, Sails of Glory is a really well done game, to be honest with you. Okay. Like, Sails of Glory is hard to play more than, you know, two or three ships at a time, but it's a fun game to play. That's a good game. You ever played that, Brian? No. Okay. I've done any of the tall ship stuff. Okay. Did you wow. see? Hey, did you see uh, Kaiser's comment? Did you already comment on that? Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Are you yeah. back to your game? 
Yeah, I'm back to it. Uh, well, Todd, I took down Clash of Gladiators. That's a game that I think you and I can play in no time flat if we really feel like just playing a game one day. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to put up. Clash of Gladiators? Yeah, it's a game that I got. It was like five bucks at game night. And it looked like the game that Jay Wiley based a gladiator game and March oh. to Victory off of that we had a really good time. Or at least, Todd, I, I had a really good time playing that game. Did you? Yeah, it was fun. Like, I got stumped, but I still had a good time playing. Um, Tell me, man, that you, should we do tournament league or something like with that crap? Huh? We should do, like, tournaments with that, man, like a league or something. Yeah. I, so part of the reason I painted these 54 millimeter gladiators 54s what's going on here McMurray? is so that we could play virtually and it'd be a whole lot easier to see oh <laughs> you know what I mean yeah because the figures are twice as big compared to 28s yeah. so if you're looking through you know even a phone screen they show up pretty well <laughs> um, before you go jumping down my throat about stuff uh, but I'm not gonna do 54 because uh, you know that means you gotta make more you know terrain you know to fit the 54. Yeah, that's why I'm only painting five gladiators in 54. Yeah. I just, so, I'll just stick to the good old stuff 28, 32s to uh, you know, although. Just, if Kev's watching or winds up watching this, I'm looking for for Julius Caesar and Alexander the Great in 54, Kev. Yeah, that, yeah, big board, right? He say doing some miniatures. Well, yeah, but he also he got screwed over by a commission painter. Yeah. Because he, again, Todd and I have talked about this, and it's not the most politically correct thing, but if you're paying a commission painter in the U.S. who doesn't attend your local game store, unfortunately there's a strong chance you're going to get screwed. Uh -huh. um, well, the unfortunate reality is a lot of commission painters are just stoner kids who, granted, can paint very, very well and usually have a very good portfolio of highly quality painted miniatures, but when it comes to motivating for a project or a... a <laughs> Yeah. Or something else. <laughs> so don't let don't let Spicoli paint your minis. Local shop, you're probably gonna be okay. Maybe not, but you're probably gonna be okay. Mm. Hey, bud, let's party. Did you say hey, bud, let's party? Hey, bud. Oh yes, hey, bud. Agree. I can't remember all this stuff. Fast, Fast Times at Ridgemont. Did you see that movie, Blue Murray? What movie is that? Fast Times on, at Ridgemont High? I have. It's been quite a while, though. Okay. Oh, gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Todd. Is this the last turn? Fourth turn of five. Hell yeah, buddy. Look at you go. look at this guy go, man. He's doing a fantastic job. I don't even know who's ahead here. I don't know if Todd knows who's ahead, to be honest with you. Yeah, the what Americans are very much ahead. Oh, they are? Oh yeah. Okay. I mean it's very very unlikely the Germans are gonna I mean they have to take at least one Victor Hex now and try to take a two in the thing. Okay. So mm. I guess I should probably spend it on this guy. Oh, yeah, baby. Baby. Mm. baby. But I have come to a conclusion that Empire Dust Minis from Mantic are... Fiddly. Or what? They're fiddly. Oh, yeah. First time doing these guys. It seems like there's a bit of a shift going to that 
to a certain extent in the wargaming community or in the model community as people just are still pushing, pushing, pushing to get models as detailed and intricate and cram as much stuff on them as possible. Mm. The flip side of that is they tend to turn into rather fragile, yeah. frustrating okay. to put together type things. Mm -hmm. Or I just have very fat fingers. <laughs> that either, buddy. You never do know. Uh, well, Todd, the, the, the watching is now going from three to four. People are waking up. All right. Look at that, man. We're just moving on up in the world, to be honest. Do what now? There's only three, three or four watching? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, my my thing up here says nine, but nine that might include everybody watching, like on Jeff's channel or everything else. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Unless he shut down his stream, he might have shut down his stream. No, it's still on there. That's interesting. You'd think it would shut off when he leaves. Seriously? Or I wonder if that means his stream is just going to keep rolling after you close this thing down. No, it'll it'll stop when I shut the recording. Holy crap! What? Oh, um, wait a minute. Hey, yeah, Hissy hey, Cat's got a live chat going on now at this later hour. It's way over there on the West Coast. It's not that late. Yeah, Jeff's channel's still going with four watching. Yeah, it will until I shut it down. Well, shoot, maybe I'll just piggyback because it says stream this to your audience. You, sh it. you should. That's why I set it up. Oh. That must be a new thing, then. Like, huh. yeah, but then they're gonna say mini warmups the Hex Encounter channel. <laughs> You've already been putting out. Okay, <laughs> I put out one. Uh huh. One. And I played one offline with you guys. Whatever. Uh huh. Yep. You did a very good job yeah. at it. Yeah, I thought I completed. I thought it was complete. <laughs> We're just, I'm just giving you trouble, man. Yeah. I tell you what, when it comes to occup occupations or whatever, occupying a spot, if I land on it, game over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, don't you think that the enemy should have a chance? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would. Jeffrey, Jeffrey's you. like, doesn't the Mexicans have a turn to try to get it back? No. Yes. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh, that was the world of Brian. In Brian's history. The so. world according to Brian. Yeah. But I will replay Molino Del Rey because Get better understanding rules. It took me three turns to really figure out the, you know, I think I already told you guys about how the table works. So, uh, where, you know, DR and then parentheses EX or whatever or something like that. And if they pass their morale check, then you go to the parentheses or EX and then that's oh, what it no. is. Don't read any further into it. So, yeah. So, because I kept reading afterwards. Well, it's telling me to roll again for a morale check. And I was like, well, no, duh. That's if you land, if you roll that on the table in the first place. Yeah. So, but I figured that out. So, it happens, man. There's nothing wrong with that. It happens. Of course, it's going to happen. I'm learning how to play. <laughs> I know. That's my point is that you don't need to, like, don't beat yourself up about it or, or yeah. dwell on it at all. Yeah. You learned how to play it. Now we know how to play it. Now you can play it. Yeah. Oh, well, what's these Germans doing? Well, they're surrounding this guy. They're surrounding this guy. So now I got to do some barraging here. He can call him. Who is this guy belong to? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he can attack them. He's going to barrage them in. But they aren't heavy wood. So. Uh, woods. It is uh, no forest. So on a three, nothing happens. Oh, that's good for them. He's going to attack uh, 
then to this guy. He is in a village for nothing happens. Oh. Oh no. Where's the tanks? All over the place. Okay, so all right, so that's that. So now, oh, we're, now we're gonna do David Bowie, huh? So you have to push uh, reconciliation, so nothing happened. That was a waste, but Okay, that's done. And uh, oh yeah, McMurray, don't put any artillery units next to enemy because you can't. Yeah, because they had to bug out, don't they? They bug out. So we did uh, U.S. First. Now it's combat time. Combat. All right, we got uh, 3, 7, uh, 12, 15, 19, 22 against 3. So that's going to be 7 to 1. He's in just woods. It's going to be 6 to 1. Come on. 8 on 6 to 1 should be good. D2, R3. So he is eliminated. D2, R2. Or R2, D2. <laughs> R3. So who I gotta figure out I, the advanced effort comment's a little weird, like D two R three. Who can advance it? If the attacking unit is exploit capable, a retreat result in two or more, and the attack is not over, and the maximum advance is two hexes, the world of Pendrick must be the first. One. The maximum advance is only the okay. So one two. A one two, a one two. It takes two to make the thing go right. It takes two to make sense. All right, four, seven, nine, eleven, fourteen, fourteen 14, 14 against. 14 against uh, one and a half. So in the clear, no shifts, baby. No shifts, seven to one. I would say the dice roll. Three. Sir, I like to see dice roll. D1, R1. Oh, hush. Steepy. Give me steepy. <laughs> Give me steepy. Well, you got to really make sure you're not stacking the wrong units down. I've done it a couple times now. Oh, so you're breaking like divisional cohesion and stuff. So they get DG. Kind of that exploitation, baby. That will be rough. Here we go. These guys are going to attack into that town. Here they go. So it's uh, one, one and a half, three and a half. So again, three and a half. This is going to be a bad attack, but I got to do it. Three and a half against one. It's going to be four to one. Against you pick the best one, and is that a village or a city? Oh boy, it's a village, so but it's gonna be woods. I think that's the best one. Oh no, village, anything. so it's just one left. What did I say it is? It's four to one, it's three to one. Come on, man, four to one, three to one, three to one. Oh, 12 on three to one, D2 R3. It's overrun, so they can keep going. Oh, Nordic Maelstrom. He, he's commenting. Hey, what's up? What's he saying? He's commenting on Hex to Hex channel. All right. What's he saying? Um, well, I had no idea you were all were here playing this late. And oh, wait. Oh, you're you're actually on. On Hex is looking at the Oh, comments. good. Because <laughs> there's people commenting over there. Oh, good. Yeah, he always uh, has more viewers than me. The tanks are somewhere without gas. And then yes. his last comment is, I wonder how many times in history that phrase has been uttered before an attack. It's a bad attack, but I have to do it. Right. Clark Commando, I'm in the same boat. I'm still waiting on my copy also, buddy. It's not just you. So 
four. Shoot. I'll keep an eye on the comments on the hexes. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so I was just curious, like, wait, if he's gone, did he still comment over here? I would uh, write a letter to Jeffy, hex to hex, about his... Five to uh, one, four to one. What are you writing the letter to Hexy about? How he ditched his channel. Yeah, we should write to Better Business Bureau. Yeah. Oh, what do we got now? I'll switch over to Todd's stream. Yes. I'm getting the Todd's status. Todd. Todd. I'll be back in a second. Here. All right. Well, something happened. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Nordic's coming over to your channel. All right. Thanks, Nordic. Here, I'm going to put this in. <laughs> if you would like to comment, go to talk. Okay. Oh, so is there anybody else on there? Well, Visby commented, but it was a uh, it was probably way back. Are these company strength units? Uh, no, they're yeah, they're 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 artillery groups, battalions, comp groups, and task forces. And then David David Murray said, "Good night." Good night. Um, all right. And I am off Hex's channel. And there. Nordic is. Oh, Clark Commando, 1983. Love it. Looking forward to getting mine. Yeah, thanks, Rich. No, Rich. That's not Rich. That's uh, Mark. Sorry, Mark. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm actually being a moderator here, man. Look at you. Or whatever, I don't know, administrator. I don't know what you call it. Oh, no, it's a thing. The Germans have had a little bit of a breakout here. And you were saying that they didn't have a chance. You're saying there's a chance. And what turn is it? This is turn four or five. Okay. Uh -oh. Um. oh, Andrew's backstage. Okay, thanks. Sorry, my uh, computer got real static. You know, I didn't know if it was pushing over any of you guys. Or my phone got real static. I'm sorry. Yeah, I noticed that. That's good. Thanks. Um, so that's. Uh, I think he used eight, <laughs> nine at that point. I think he used 10 at that point. Uh, Hmm. You never close your eyes. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah. Or whatever. I don't know. Murray, McMurray, you lost. One, two. No, I still close my eyes when you kiss my You're lips. Mm. There's still tenderness in my fingertips. <laughs> I still have that love and feeling. Mm. Six and a half. So it's one, two, three, and a half. 
Two and a half. Two and a half. Mm -hmm. Three, four and a half. Five, mm -hmm. six and a half. Baby, baby. Peg it on my knee. Uh, so it's going to be 9 to 11, 12. 6 to 1. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Now they're rolling. Oh, no more barrels, huh? So far. He has to move into that hex, and then I have two movement left. But they can't get anywhere, so that would be... Where's that shield? Gosh, I think I need to stay there. Uh, yeah, Andrew, you missed it. The uh, the Germans have uh, made an amazing breakthrough here. I was backstage. I heard you. Yeah, okay. I'm excited to see what this next turn is going to bring. All right, so the Germans took uh, Bilsam. I just don't know how they're going to get into St. Vith, though. That's going to be really tough here. Just send them to Antwerp, then. Okay, so that's German supply. I really got to check that. The Germans are all still good. U U.S. German, U.S. marker removal. Movement and barrage, half reconciled. So now, again, two of the U.S. RDs are... DG'd. Um, so what's going to happen if I DG them here? It just would soften them up for me to attack them. Oh, okay. Oh, that would be really good for me to do that. I am going to move you over here. One, two, three, four. He's going to spot for him. He's going to attack him in the woods. It's going to be forest. That's going to be hard to hit him. Four, five, or six. And I rolled a three, so it fails. Boo. As we say in this channel, boo. 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 Queen of putrescence. What? It's from the Princess Bride, which maybe it's another movie you haven't seen. Yeah, I have. Uh, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. When it was Princess Buttercup in her dream getting married, the old lady looks at her and goes, Boo, boo. Bow to the queen of putrescence. Boo. I don't know it quite that well. I've seen it too many times. Hey, thanks. Hey, I, I do want to thank whoever's on here, all nine people watching on whatever channel you're on. I appreciate it. We're all over here on the uh, Wardrobe Plays World War II if you want to comment and we can see it. But we do have a nice moderator, uh, Vinnie Warman. <laughs> In order to say, step away to get a sandwich and I come back to Princess Bride quotes. Yep. Yep, that'll happen. He's not dead. Mm. He's not fully dead. Or however. <laughs> There's a difference. All right, he's going to move into here. He can't because at the end of the movement. So can you move there? No, he can't. Oh, boy. Wow. Man. Well, I'll just have to attack him. At... Oh, wait. He can move into there. Boom. And he can move into there. Do it. And so now for combat, these guys, so I'm going to attack six to one into the woods. That'll probably be a one shift, uh, one left. Six to one. Eight on the four. D2 R3. I could advance into that hex, but I will not do that. Oh, I will do that with one unit. And then these guys have to bug out. 
Oh, they don't have to if they're not in a road hack. Oh, darn it. Got it. Straight up. So what happens to them? Are these DG'd? Yes. Just who are you rooting for here, Todd? Uh, whatever, side, whatever side I'm playing for at the moment. They're okay. DG, dude. <laughs> Teleport. Teleport. No. Okay, so this is interesting. I really, I got to get clarification on this bug out thing. Uh, Nordic says they have to pay the road toll tax and then they can move. <laughs> Who? Wait, is Dave, oh, Dave and Murray left, right? Yeah, he said goodnight. Got an order. All right, so I must bug out when someone moves adjacent to using its own movement points. Uh, oh, oh, that's interesting. And a okay, so I wouldn't do that. Hey, that's not movement points. All right, no, never mind. I would think they would still be DG though. That's weird. Okay. All right, so that's combat. I thought you couldn't bug out if you were DG'd. And, um, unless yeah, totally must bug out at that moment. Unless DG, they cannot bug out. But they, these guys. It's, Let's say they had used their uh, movement point. Excuse me? What the heck? What's happening? Oh, he's going all crazy again. You gotta be shitting me. Poor, poor Andrew. All right. So that's the U.S. turn. Wait, am I in the U.S. turn here? Exploitation. Wait, does, does anyone here need to move? I am tempted to go. <laughs> I am tempted to go reinforce this. I think. Oh my gosh! Have I left that weak again? Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, they, no one can. Oh. All right, Toddy may not be been doing very smart here with the Americans. Um, U.S. supply. He's good. He's good. They're out of supply. Good. 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 Oh wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so he can get there and then go out that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's an important thing to do, get these Germans around here. to. Looks like I'm going to be shooting another video, Brian. You're going to be on here all by yourself talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Nord says, okay, who is building a model kit? I can hear someone using a Tamiya cement. Good grief. What? How the yeah. heck? How the heck did you know I'm using Tamiya cement? Wait, what, what is the sound of the jar? You can hear that? Oh, wow. Okay. Dang, this mic picks up everything. Wow. That is I, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a whole bunch of uh, Kings of War, Empire of Dust uh, miniatures right now. Oh, uh, I think that's Mc yep. He McMurray's backstage again. Okay, thanks. Technical difficulties is his name. <laughs> Maybe we should have him. Yeah. You know, are you sure? You, you ready to come back on? Yeah. So I don't know if this phone's just getting old, or if Apple's still doing their planned obsolescence crap, or what. But oh, guaranteed. What? Guaranteed, they're still doing that. 
Yeah, well, it's hitting. I guess my phone finally came up for planned obsolescence because this thing's turned into a giant piece of shit over the last couple of weeks. But. Huh? Uh, I was reading in Nordic, he's going to be building a 700th of scale uh, Flyhawk 1943 Deluxe kit to work on. This right. dude, he was he, well, he made comments because I uh, put the I, I just put the brush back on top of my uh, Tamiya Thin Smith cement j jar, and then he makes a comment, "Hey, who's building a model?" <laughs> he said, "Who's using Tamiya paint uh, glue?" Is what he said. Yeah, I was like, "How the heck did you?" <laughs> so, so, I wonder if I need to turn the gain down on this microphone or something. <laughs> It never seems overwhelming to me. Mm. Well worth the oh, price nice. Pay. You're building the Flyhawk Scharnhorst. Outstanding. I have a couple of their light cruisers. They're fun kits. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't put about half the uh, components onto the actual model. Yeah, I mean, where he's half ass. No, I'm building them to be models to be played with, not models to yeah. sit on a, in a display case. Yeah. So I don't, A, I, if they're going to break relatively quickly, I don't want to pour an absolutely ungodly amount of time into them. And B, I don't want to put a bunch of stuff on that's just going to add to uh, how quickly stuff breaks down. He has the Bismarck too. Yeah. The, de the detail on the Flyhawk kits are actually as, as good as Photo Etch in a lot of cases. Yeah, they're 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 stellar, one hundred and ten percent. Oh crap, Todd! What what did I turn you on again? I am moving. I just finished turn four. Guess what that means? Uh, it means you're it's almost video done. time. Oh, you you and McMurray have to ramble. What's going on, Brian? What you painting up? What you putting together? You still doing horsies? Yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got, I'm on. I got seven more to do. I thought I was done, and then I was like, "Well, what the heck are all these shields for?" I think freaking shields go on the horses. Wait, shields? Not onto the guys. Uh, the guys have their own shields, but the horses have four shields that go on each side of the legs. Oof. Yeah, so I've been doing that. Yeah, I follow that one, bud. And then a little shield on their, right underneath their neck, too. So, a lot of metal involved, so it should be I'm fairly easy to paint. I'm hoping. Well, if anyone can paint it, you can. Yeah. Oh, and then I got to get back to these ACWs here again. <sighs> you you're going to play that game, McMurray. You're going to be in that game, too. That's fine. Let's yeah. do it. Invite right, whoever huh? wants to play. The Picacho Pass? Yep. Or Picacho Peak, sorry. Picacho Peak. Absolutely. So... Um, you could be on the Confederates. Why? Well, they win. <laughs> Not if I'm playing on the Union side. Yeah, so, well, you don't want to be a, what's his name, Cor uh, Captain Barrett. Why? Because he was the first one to die. Not not if I'm on that side. he disregard his uh, commanding officer's uh, uh, order to wait. He wanted to. You got all hotty toddy. You want to go in there? And Not if I'm on that side. All right. Well, okay. It's all on the dice roll, man. There's not going to be a live secesh on the table at the end of that game. <laughs> so. Not a single one. Going to be a whole bunch of dead, whole bunch of uh, gray and red on that table. Uh, Nordic, these are going to be uh, 28 mils. 
Um, it's a skirmish game. Uh, battle of Picacho Peak was the westernmost uh, battle in the Civil War here in Arizona. And um, it was only a 13 Union to a, a, no, 11 Union to 13 Confederates. So, part of the California column. And then I'm serious. I was thinking about make the next battle of Fort Bowie where they had to deal with the Apaches. Sweet. You got painted Apaches? So, no, I have to go get some Apaches. I'm going to get some off of uh, Old, Old Glory has the Apaches. They do. Yeah. So. Yeah. What's, did you guys already answer the scale for ACW question? Yeah, he's playing yeah. in 28. I got a bunch of 15s. I really enjoy it, but yeah. Yeah, we're on the ball, Todd. Don't worry about us. We're actually ball. really good at this. Brian's just really nervous and won't do this on his channel. No, uh, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm nervous to life life eats. You do such a good job, though. No, I just don't want the 1 800 numbers to show up. What? They're not going to show up. <laughs> it's, uh, the spam. Uh, Nordic says he's spoiled and that he lives less than 130 miles from Gettysburg and been there a number of times. Well, Jeff, he would love you then. That's true. Oh. Jeff Hula is right by Gettysburg, too. He likes reminding us of that. Oh, the, the, uh. yeah. So this is artillery over here is supposed to remove, remove their DG, but they're these Sec like Krog Recon Second SS just moved in here, so they're gonna have to bug out again. Damn. I'll just, I'll just keep the DG on. Uh, DG and barrage marker removal. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this comes off. I could have been doing some counter clipping here with the Battle of Alberta. That's right. You got new, you got new games, buddy. Mm. Brian, for those of you who don't know yet, is a pretty big uh, Hicks Encounter guy. What? <laughs> He's kind of a big deal. Oh. <laughs> I just looked at the back. This sparks have been moved. There's 200 counters in this stupid game. <laughs> yep. Dawn of the 24 and 24, friend. Yeah, you graduated. Oh, I'm not going to do it now. Tired. Let's see. Nordic says that uh, it's really lovely ground. I'd love to go sit up on Little Round Top and view the battlefield, debating if I want to get some. And drag in 10 mils and do Gettysburg at the regimental scale. I feel like even Jeffy would point you to six at this point, but. Jeffy, I'm, I'm happy yeah. Jeffy didn't like lose it on how small six is. Because I know he was talking about, well, my eyes aren't that good. They don't need to be. Not for six mil. What the heck? Exactly. So, anyhow, that's. You this could play it for six mil. Six mil, you could play it on like a little file folder. No, I mean for painting. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah. Mm. You saw I got another starter set, dude. Yeah, who's in this one? Uh, it's just a the Kings. Of War. It's an older one. No, I know, but what what sides are in it? Like what faction? Uh, the Night Stalkers, which are the Scarecrow-looking dudes. Okay. And um, the North. Oh, they got they got a certain angry. Let me put it up. It's uh, God, me, you got to say it right. It's here. okay. No, you don't need to, because the whatever the name is in there. Northern Alliance miniatures. Yeah, whatever that means. That doesn't mean anybody to anybody else. Like, what do yeah. the models look like? Oh. They're, they're, they're great, I think. I love the Scarecrows, man. I mean, they're full decked out with pumpkin heads and all that crap and witches' hats. Yeah, those are the ones Matt had a ton of. Um, yeah. 
the thing Chris quite literally couldn't give away. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but then yeah. you got the the Northmen. What do they look like? Oh goodness! I, are I, they are they the ones that are designed to look like Starks from Game of Thrones? No, they they are dressed up almost like Eskimos. Oh, I'm sorry. They look like wildlings from Game of Thrones. My apologies. Yeah. Okay. No. I yeah. like those. And I couldn't pass it up. It's a total of 88 miniatures for uh, 70 bucks. Why not? Yeah, it's hard to beat, man. Oh, and you know I'm going to use them for I don't know. I already said that. I told you I'm going to use them for other games. Man. Yeah. So I just got to build them and paint <laughs> Right. Nordic said he tried 6 mil, but the eye strain really bothered me. I can paint the scale, but the eye strain really sucks. Okay. Just close your eyes and just brush stroke right across. I'm about to say, to be honest with you, if if that's an issue, uh, Nord, it might be worth just going straight to 15. That way you don't start painting 10, start painting 10s, get a whole lot done in 10, and then all of a sudden you're, you're dealing with the same problem. Um there's a local guy around here who tried doing that with um, some 10 mil World War II. He played a ton of had a ton of GHQ and like CNC six mil, and then ran into the same issue. And then he ran into the problem of well, hell, now my now my vision's having trouble with 10 mil now. Um, which I'm not saying it's going to be an issue for you. It's just if it might be an issue in the future and you could avoid it. At this point, that seems like a pretty solid, solid option. Um, solid. Especially because 15 millimeter ACW is super commonly available and you can find it anywhere, which is kind of nice. 15 That's what I've been painting a bunch of. Based up like Fire and Fury. so Because a oh. lot of games, honestly, nowadays are built the assumption that somebody, at least a chunk of the gamers, are going to be playing with Fire and Fury based figures. Yep. Todd's rolling. He is. He's doing a great job. Half, half barrage on the city. Is it looking good for the Americanos? Uh, or, I mean, it's still pretty likely the Americans will win this, but. That's good. So that's weird. So you only determine that. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I know, that'd be interesting. I painted up some. Really need to put moves. another one on then. Painted up some what, Brian? Uh, Nordic said he painted up some 15 blue moons, but the quality control of the sculpts was kind of bad. A lot of miscasts with them. Honestly, I could probably mm. speed paint the Union troops over a few months. That uniform is absurdly easy to paint. I still have the first edition of Fire and Fury, McMurray. I yep. also have Volley and Bayonet Road to Glory. Yep. Yep. Mm. Absolutely. One thing I've been doing for really lightweight ACW is using Little Wars TV's um, AWI rule set, Live Free or Die, and just running with the troop types that are applicable for the ACW. So, you know, basically everybody's got rifles, which isn't a problem, but then when you have low quality units that don't have smooth bores, you put smooth bores out there. Luckily, you don't have to worry about all the different cavalry types. Um, it's, it's a good little system. I think there's a couple of videos up on Hex to Hex's channel of me playing through it in two millimeter. But then the nice thing is it's also great for if you have, again, Fire and Fury-based figures that you that it converts over to that real well also. Um, mm. And, yeah, that's quite light and quick and easy to play and, and get a hold of. You obviously, as with anything, you're going to have to do a little bit of scenario building with that stuff, but that's not bad. That's what, Todd, did you and I play Battle of Fredericktown, or is that somebody else? Someone else, not me. Okay. Never mind. Disregard. And what happened? Not that many Germans. 
Um, so am I going to try to overrun to that? That city's going to be impossible. Maybe with that attitude. So it's sitting at two. I'm attacking with nine twelve. So it's six to one, but in the city, it's four to one. Now well, I got to do it. So let's see. What did he use there? He used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, ten. So he's out of movement if he gets in there. All right, let's do it. German will try to overrun St. Vith. We're rolling on the four to one chart. Eight on the four to one. That sounds pretty good. That's a D2 R2. Nice. And the Germans just took retook St. Vith. And there's a half barrage there. So they're done moving. They're done moving. All right, I got to figure this out pretty well, smart. Like here, what does it move to go into there? And six, I'm not doing that. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, when I did that turn three of Molino Del Rey, my math was horrible. <laughs> so. Up here, he's going to bug out. Why do you say that, Brian? Oh, I, I made some uh, mistakes on adding and subtracting there. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Germans gonna move into here. One, two, three, four. Ty got all over me on that man. So he's moved. He's used four. All right. Should I do that or should I go around somewhere else to do this? They can't do that. They have to they have to go through this guy. Should I stay or should I go? So at seven, ten, ten to three. Ten to three. It's gonna be three to one. It's in the clear, so it's just three to one. So that's good. Come on, buddy. Seven on the three to one. Let's make sure that's accurate. Oh man, seven on the three to one. D one R one. So he'll go there and move back one. So that's four movement. So now he can't exploit that guy because he starts. He's still moving. How's that work? Oh boy. Hmm. Can he attack him again? Do it. I don't know if he can though. So. You can't exploit if you start next to somebody, but he didn't start next to him, but I guess he kind of is, so. In order to tell you, Todd, to go through them like crap through a goose, Todd. Okay. okay. Wow, man, the roads are killer here, so the Germans aren't going to be able to do this. Game over. Well, you did a good job, buddy. How do you feel your understanding of the system is, or of the game specific rules is? Okay, let me see. Let me think. I got. Let me think through this here. Okay. Oh, he doesn't want to stop. We go one, two. So he's at four. He had to go five, six, seven, eight. Man, I could do it again. Actually, five, six. Seven, eight. Uh, this is the SCS, correct? Yep. Yes. Ten. So ten. So he's going to do it again. He's going to try to overrun this guy again. Do it, buddy. 
Seven, ten against that. It's five to one. It's in the woods though, so that's five to one, four to one. Four to one. Come on, four to one. Six on the four to one though. D one R one. So he's defeated. And he moves into that hex with ten movement points left. And now let's see if he moved into there, it's gonna be ten and a half, twelve and a half. So this guy could fire into there, but he's not gonna do that. He can't do that. All right. Oh man, this might have wait. I'm still in movement. Yeah, there's still exploitation. This might happen. <laughs> oh baby. Oh baby, this is coming under the wire. This is a good scenario. You're playing this really well. All right, so now it's combat. Oh wait, do I want to move up next to him to combat? Or do I want to wait and expo ooh? Wait. I'm gonna move up next to him. Wait, there you no, go. There. That's my boy. Oh, hold on. What happened there? So he, so he, only this guy. That was 10. Wait, why didn't I? Oh, no, I was going to overrun. Yeah, so he can move in there. Okay. Perfect. All right, combat. Now this, now we got, still got 10, 10 to 3, 3 to 1. It's going to be 2 to 1 into the woods. No, so we got it. No Nordic. Oh, wait, this guy could help maybe. But then we're going to shift because of the river. We're not attacking. So what did I say it is? I'm sorry. It's 2 to 1. Need a high roll. Seven going to do it on the two to one. D1 reduces him. Not out. He's not out. Oh, that's not good that he can't exploit. Ah, shoot. All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, wait, did this guy move? He does not move yet, has he? Oh, <gasps> I think a hex can only be overrun one time. And I think you can I think you can overrun out of a hex that's overstacked. Usually you can't do that. I need to try that. Uh, any other comments? Nordic, no guts, no glory. Well yeah, that, I mean yeah, there is absolutely no guts no glory because I have to to win. Um overruns. Hmm. Oh, are you serious? What? Oh. <laughs> uh, the game's over. I totally... You can't overrun more than once in a phase. Uh-oh. What do you mean? So these what? guys over here defeated a unit, came over here and defeated another unit and overrun. Oh, yeah. You can't... You mean you're overrunning two units with the same stack and one movement phase? Yep. Oh, yeah, no. That's a no-go. I'm sorry. Well, that I didn't realize that's what's going on. I would have pointed that out. Oh, well. Yeah, so these guys wouldn't be over here. <clears throat> Mainly so these you guys. lost, Todd. No, he won. Oh, you won? Oh. Oh. What did you do to your thumb there, Mr. Toddy Poo? Toddy Poo Poo? Uh, heard it and uh, protecting an old lady who was getting mugged by vagrants, and I defended her honor. That sounds very, very. You're my hero, buddy. Yeah. What do I have to laugh for shields? Yeah, this slowed the process down. Brian, when are we doing this painting competition? I was thinking October. Buddy, you're killing me, man. What? I never did say a date. I just was looking to see who's interested. No, I know, but that starts in October. In November, I got the three-month analog hobbies challenge coming. Oh, really? Yeah. I still say you should get in on that. You'd love the shit out of that. Uh, boy, 
My and gosh. they love you. What? Time flies. I seen like yesterday. US well, Toronto that's National also that's a that's a three month event. So that, yeah. Is the game over, Todd? I think it got called on account of stuff. And then we'll tag there. Uh, is it wood? It's, uh, wood. I mean, I'm going to try to take. Actually, yeah, I could stop. So, I mean, they were they would still be been able to take this town over. They just couldn't have got this far. Well, or did I did I actually overrun and overrun? Shoot. No, they definitely wouldn't have got this far for sure. Whether or not I overran two people to take that town, I don't remember. I think I did. I'll have to watch that. I'll have to watch my turn four video in there. I'm probably going to combine all my turns, the rest of them, into one video. But let's see what I can do. What my last damage is here. I mean, the U.S. still has a turn. To retake, well, they hold their... To retake St. Vith. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what they do. I mean, they're going to be attacking uh, 7, 10 defense strength in a city that moves you to the, to the left. Well, unless they DG it. Um, they won't. They won't be able. They no one. No, they won't do it. They won't be able to do that because the barrage is too far away. Oh, okay. Um. So this didn't happen. Actually. Nope. All right, so attack these guys. Let's see what happens. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, thirteen. Thirteen to three is uh, four to one. Thirteen to three. Sixteen to three. Five to one. Let's go five to one. Four on the what did I say? Five to one? A one D one. Fan freaking tastic. Oh, we got uh damn damn offy. All right, see oh hey I went off for promo oh come on. There you go, there's your little torture. I can't get rid of them on here either. What? Here. I have to do it on YouTube. Here, I'll do it. All right, thanks. Wait. Oh, he's not showing on YouTube. Oh wait. Oh, he's on. Tw he's on Twitch. Oh, he's sorry. on Twitch. Somebody's on Twitch trolling hard. Oh. Nice. And no Let's see. You guys need Nordic. your help, buddy. Unofficially entered that analog name. Oh. Nordic said he unofficially entered that analog challenge the last three years. I wound up hanging up my entire mountain of shame with that challenge. It's and really then, hard, man. Yeah, and then he said, "Look at it this way, Todd. You're getting reps with how the battle system works, and now you know." Yep. All right, this guy's gonna go in there and attack one to one. But it's not a painting competition, or it's just a challenge. What? Just a, so Norx is asking if it's a painting competition, and it's just a challenge. There's it's a different... A, it's a completion thing, like the analog hobbies. Yeah. Nobody's going to get awards for painting, like the Golden Demon and stuff. No, I might offer $1,000 for the most. What? <laughs> I think Brian just had a stroke. Get on the horn to uh, Arizona, what? like EMS. That's funny. Golly, Todd, I'm tired. I'm not making you stay up, bro. I am. Oh, I'm helping you. 
All right, so there's that. So that's the German turn. So and the Germans did take the last town, by the way, in overrun. Oh, baby. But again, this unit would not have been softened because this guy wouldn't have been to get that far. I was about to say, the issue is they had to overrun four different times in one turn to get it there. Well, no, so let's see, he overran twice here. I don't remember. Well, yeah, shoot. Talk <laughs> on. It's all right, man. Like I, I'm, I am. It, it does all good, but that I, I, that lesson is burnt into my skull brain. So the U.S. turn is the U.S. going to try to dislodge these Germans from that city. Barrage marker removal. Don't have any of that. Uh, movement barrage. So that guy can't. Can he reach there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he just misses the city, so he can barrage. Oh, wait. I mean, the only thing I would do would be come over here. These guys abandon here. They go up there. Uh, they go around. One, two, two and a half. Oh, I can't even move into that hex. They look like SS troops, so are you surprised they were cheating? Nope. They are the bad guys. So to go over here, it'd be one. Uh, what's it cost to move into there? Forest is three, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right. So these guys are going to switch places. Go here. These guys are going to come up here. And they're going to attack this town of defensive 10 with a total offense of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 12. <laughs> it's going to be. Don't do, that. Don't do that. You're going to be attacking at 1 to 3. Well, I mean. Yeah, and the worst that's going to happen is D1. Well, D1, R1. I mean, it's the last ditch effort for the Americans. There's nothing else going to happen. All right, roll it. So if I roll a 12, they, they get them out, and the Germans would lose. Huh. So does 5 plus 3 equal 12? If I turn the 6 over in that, yeah, 12. <laughs> Let's see, what did I roll on that? 8. Actually, no result. That's pretty good. That's, I was about to say, that's pretty good for a one to three attack. Game over. Oh, look, Mud, I finished a game. Yay! Yay. You finished a scenario, buddy. I don't know about a game. What? I'm just oh, kidding. So, so now any scenario is not a game now, so it has to be the full campaign? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it right. says Brian, who's only played full campaign games with 48 counters. That's right. That's right. No, I'm um, just giving you trouble, Todd. I have played played finished in the scenario. A lot of people play one or two turns and then write a full review. Or get on <laughs> YouTube and start talking about it. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. That's awesome. Almost three hours. Yeah, three hours, man. Yeah, but you got through what, five turns? Uh, no, I think I might have started on turn two. So I think I got through three and a half turns in three hours. It's betting time. Not bad for learning the system. Yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for popping on. I appreciate y'all. Especially, especially damn, damn Offy. Hey, everybody, go, go work. Go help damn Offy get some business. You know, see what he needs on Twitch. He's got to need some more. <laughs> appreciate all of you. Appreciate the views. Like, subscribe, sm smash that bell. Make sweet, caress that sweet bell. Love. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to just keep talking until it ends, you know. I mean, that's what.